All right, what is up, everybody? His Royal Fan is here, and welcome back to the channel and to today's live stream where I will be showcasing the brand new Object 752. And oh boy, is this a juicy collector tank. Anyways, how's it going to everyone in chat? Hope you guys are having a great end to your Friday, start to your weekends, and uh, hopefully a relaxed end to your work week and everything. We got Matthew Stagger, Jack, um, uh, 95 Acres, uh, a lot of people, Tennessee, Immortal. How's it going, guys? Welcome to today's live stream. Make sure to smash that like button. Always do appreciate the support. We got Buttery, J6, IB. How's it going, guys? Ominous. Hope you guys are having a great evening. And um, yeah, so the purpose of today's live stream is to showcase this brand new beast right here. And <laughs> man, this tank is good in so many ways. It, it, it truly is very epic. It is a tier 9 Soviet heavy tank with an autoloader. So you're like, okay, so it's the brother to the K91, except it's a little bit different than the K91. And I think I like it more because this gets a boomstick autoloader, as I like to refer to them. The double tap autoloaders that have pretty decent alpha damage, 430 alpha damage to be exact. And it also gets decent damage per minute at 2,500. That's really good. If you're running the vent and double food as I am, you will have 2,500 damage per minute on this vehicle. That is better than half of the tier nine heavy tanks and only tanks like the K91 have like a far superior damage profile, like 2,700. So DPM's great and it's an auto loader with two shots, 430 alpha damage. So you're doing 860 clip potential. Now it does have a rather long intro clip at four seconds, but to be honest, it doesn't really feel as bad as it sounds. I think it's a perfectly fine kind of semi-balancing feature of the tank and it still dishes damage like crazy. Furthermore, the mobility on this tank is actually fairly decent. It's not game changing. The K91 is still faster in my opinion, but it will reach a top speed of 38 kilometers an hour going forward, which is quite decent. You'll be able to get around the map at a decent rate. It's faster than ST1, that is for sure. You also get gun depression on this tank. To be precise, eight degrees of gun depression. That is easily the best out of any of like the Russian Soviet heavy tanks in tier 9. The K91 I believe gets 7 and I believe the SD1 gets 7 and the ISA gets like 5. So 8 degrees of gun depression is great with a pretty troll armor profile. Now it's not a perfect armor profile. There are a lot of weaknesses but against players that are not aiming so well that are um, not shooting premier rounds and especially against tier 8s you will bounce a lot of shots. And also can we just appreciate how tall this tank is. Look how high it is off the ground. Compare that to a K91, this tank has like no lower plate. I mean, okay, it has a lower plate, but it's it's like levitating up there. It has like extremely tall hull. So you'd be surprised how often players kind of just shoot under your vehicle, or if they're shooting at your sides, they'll tend to shoot towards the middle of the tracks. The shots will go under the tank instead of actually hitting the hull, which is great. Uh, most premium rounds though, most premium rounds in tier 10 and tier nine, and heck even some tier eights will go through this tank pretty easily. It has, a lot of frontal turret armor, but as you can see, it is quite flat. So players like any 100 would just load heat and pen you right next to your whole front of your turret. So you have to watch out for that. And it also has rather large hatches that you also have to watch out for. But that's not going to be too much of an issue because when you're playing the object 752, you're not going to be necessarily playing it as Look at me, I am invincible heavy tank. I sit hold down and stare at you all game. The whole point of this tank is to find a position where you can just dump those two shots out and repeat, right? So if you're playing this tank right, you should be able to dish a lot of damage without trading too many of your hit points. If you're going to a haul down versus haul down fight versus something like, let's say, Chief to Mark 6, that's probably a really bad idea in most situations because he'll just hatch snipe you for days. And so you do have to be careful where you position a vehicle like this just because the turret armor is a bit... Eh, unreliable. It's still good against players that aren't shooting premium, but um, with that out of the way, I think I've talked your ears off. Here's a quick glim glimpse at the equipment. If you are curious, I forgot to mention 340 base heat pen. Absolutely no reason to run calibrated in my opinion, because 340 heat is more than enough to deal with pretty much any tier 10 you run against 
and tier 9 to tier 8 with so 340 heat. So, yeah, I don't really care too much about running calibrated. I'd rather just increase that gun handling and slightly increase that DPM as well as it reduces your overall magazine reload. In terms of accuracy, this tank is actually quite decent. It's not medium tank accuracy, and it's definitely not like conqueror levels of accuracy, but it's nowhere near as derpy as you would expect from an auto-loading sil uh, auto silver heavy, right? So, let's jump right into some gameplay. We are on Middleburg for this first game. This is a pretty dope camo, not gonna lie. I wish, I wish the stars stayed on longer. If you look at the very start of the game, look at that. Like a hologram gets projected above your tank showing the galaxy. I think that's pretty lit. I'm gonna go hill because I think the enemy team have a very, a very good chance of heading up. They have a 50 TP ISA, Amex 5100. They have two meds and a couple slow TDs. The odds are that they will probably send a decent amount of tanks up here. I will be careful not to be overly aggressive on the hill, just because um, if they send their whole team up here, okay, 50 TP's not here. There is nothing to worry about. We're full sending it, boys, just like this M4 Revelisse who is, who is dying. So I got spotted from the outside left there. That's probably the, mm, probably the Super Pershing spotted me up there. And we're about to show you just what this gun is capable of. We're gonna put a shell towards this M4 and uh, definitely did not show you what the gun was capable of there. Or, or I showed you what it was capable of doing in a bounce situation. Let's load an HE up. 530 damage dealt into the side of the M4. And if you're in something like the Tier 9 Yo, you'd be sitting here for 25 seconds reloading your, your next magazine. And so even though the Tier 9 Yo has the ability to dump two shots in, in two seconds, this tank has the ability to just use its DPM at a much faster rate. You see, we we're able to track this Pershing there. Wasn't quite able to hit the, the next shell on him, but no biggie. That's why I think this tank is so strong because you have a very decent reload magazine reload time of about 16 seconds. So even if you mess up a shot, it's not like the end of the world. And it's it's definitely more of the end of the world if you're playing something like the... Um, that was a really bad shot. Okay, gun elevation appears to not exist, boys. Let's keep an eye out on that. All right, so we're going to pull off this hill and get safe from this AMX. I'm just going to start pressuring in here because obviously we were big time winning this game. And I want to farm some damage out. You do have to watch out for the gun elevation. You can see it has a very flat turret. So naturally, vehicles that have flat turrets are generally speaking punished by having rather bad gun elevation so if you're pulling down a hill definitely keep an eye on that let's put one shell to this is8 and then we'll just get ready to load our next shell and boom two shells into him 472 that was about that was close to 900 clip damage right there in four seconds and it's so easy maybe it's just me but i feel like this tank is so easy to play but you just have to make sure when you are playing this vehicle you don't make the mistake of assuming i'm heavy tank i can just do whatever i want because that's definitely not what you want to do with a tank like this because you know you don't have a ton of uh, a ton of armor reliable armor oh my goodness it's 55 a really got in my way there that's a little annoying uh yeah i'll just let you, i'll just let you get clipped out no my damage okay this was way too much of a sweep your boy isn't gonna be farming much this game unfortunately the enemy team was just completely non-existent this dude's gonna die before i can even shoot another shell to him maybe oh nice and then we'll save our next shell for this dude all right or not so yeah not the most gamer first game it was a sweep but Still a solid battle. Uh, this tank is VZ55, a eh? no cap. True. I, I think it definitely does have many similarities to that. Hey, Fatus, how's it going? Hey, hey to everyone in the chat who's just joined. Wait, okay, so we pulled 3,000 damage out that game. And to be fair, I should have had probably closer to, to 4,000 if I'd hit my other two shells. But that was like, that was a, a complete sweep game. I didn't sweat too hard, right? It was just kind of, kind of pushing through the hill casually. And we still easily managed to to deal 3,000 damage to the battle. And that's one thing you will notice about when you're playing these double shot autoloaders is they rack up damage very quickly when you don't notice it. I'm just not, I'm just very comfortable to play in almost every situation. Yeah, uh, what MJ Gamer is saying, I agree. This tank feels very comfortable in a lot of situations. You can go med side if you want, or you could just bomb heavy tank or, or medium, or yeah, bomb heavy tanks, I guess, as well, because you have enough mobility to be flexible in a lot of situations. You have enough gun depression to be flexible. You have enough armor to be flexible. And of course, you have this absolutely killer double shot gun with enough DPM to deal with a lot of situations. It's just, I feel like this tank might just have a few too many things going for it. I wouldn't say necessarily, oh, the armor is so broken on this tank or, or oh, you know, the, um, what was it? Uh, don't block my shot on you. Don't block my shot. Boom. Two shots right into that scent. That scent just got quad tapped there we have 907 here on our left and i think the enemy team did go town so we'll watch out for their tds back there but i think 
My concern is they're going to come back through our spawn. So I really hope this Yo comes into assist. Or maybe the E5 is going to make a play here. I bet if I pull up to this hill, my 8 degrees of gun depression will be just enough to shoot this E5. E5 gets absolutely hammered there. Object fires once. I'm just going to pull over. We'll put a quick shell into him. Boom. Second shell. There's that 907. Like I said, I was a little concerned about tanks popping up the mid here. I'm going to just pressure this 907 because we need to try and keep our yo alive for the time being. So I'm going to just YOLO in for this dude. We're going to cut him off a little bit. Oh, ramming him. Wow. This tank is light. He did almost the same amount of ram damage. One shell into him. The yo is about to bomb him, and this dude's pretty much dead. So... Yeah, farewell to 907, very good. I'm gonna go back up through the entrance of town now, so that way I can start clipping these dudes out and decide when they're not paying attention, or hopefully not paying attention, but it does look like they are looking my way. I'm gonna pull back just a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna be taking a shell here. Do manage to bait one shot into my tracks, and I don't mind taking a two-for-one trade, so one shot there. I should easily be able to pull a kill shot to this dude. Very easy, very good. And this is what I'm talking about in this vehicle. Don't get overly carried away in it or so you will find yourself dead very quickly if you're not paying attention did have a little bit of a lag spike there we should be fine for the most part 200 lt full standard across the map i'm gonna go chase him down a little bit i guess there's not really much else i can do this battle so let's see if we can yeet this 200 lt out of that game but oh man their team was so bad all right pre-aim boom oh we tracked him so with four seconds four seconds should be enough to hit a second shell here and we managed to pick up a kill on the 200 lt very nice all right well another sweep game this tank is good in in most situations. Even sweep games were comfortably pulling out over 3,000 damage. But you put this tank in a kind of a long engagement and a more farming situation, and uh, yeah, you'll be pulling out 5,000 damage super easily. So we actually got 4k damage that game. I don't know how. I thought I did 3.8. At least that's what my damage indicator told me. But all right, I ran the 9 of 7. Nice. All right, there we go. Easy 4k. Showing the tier 10s how they're doing. And if I'm completely honest with you, if Wargaming maybe gave this tank 2500 hit points base and let's say reduced to interclip to 3.5 seconds this would be a tier 10 heavy tank without a doubt like that's how close it is to being a tier 10 heavy tank in tier 9 it's just lacking some hp pretty much it's 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 really good also gonna throw it out there um wargaming did a rather bizarre play when releasing this tank no they still released it in crates as is to be expected but you are able to purchase this tank in gold crates, which is really weird. So if you already have a ton of gold on your account, you actually have a pretty good chance of getting this tank without having to spend any cash. And I think that's actually pretty nice um, that Wargaming did release it that way, especially for players that don't want to spend cash necessarily, but they've accumulated a lot of gold over the years. They have a decent chance of getting the tank, which is nice. Obviously, not as good as an outright gold purchase of the vehicle, and, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you guys to go out and buy the tank. No matter how good it is, you guys always have to remember, the tank is always made by the player. Yes, some tanks are a lot easier to play than others, and some tanks will definitely perform much better than others, but in the end, if if you're not quite capable of playing the vehicle or you get a little careless, you're, you can still get wrecked in this tank, no matter how good it is. I'm sure some situation tonight, I'm going to have a very Pepega game. It's bound to happen, so we'll wait for that to happen. Anyways, E100 has crossed the safety. Looks like we got a bat chat getting ready to cross as well. Let's pre-aim for the bat chat. Taking his tracks off, and with a four-second interclip, we should be able to hit another shell into him very easily. Boom. And just like that, we managed to deal about 850 damage to that bat chat. Also, T92, I have no clue why he went there. He is now practically dead, but I guess it was worth it for the one shot. He should probably be eh, almost dead. Okay. Cool, so the enemy's heavy tanks are pushing pretty aggressively here. I'd like to try and kill this 2 and 5 b Let's put a quick shell into this TI2 and angle up. He manages to fluff that shot. There's a Waffenträger. Let's put another shell into him. 538 max roll. And this was a great example of just how spicy the gun handling is on this tank. You saw that those are some pretty snappy shots. And for a kind of 122mm autoloader, it had absolutely no problem bopping those fools that were overextended there. So anyways, we got an E100 here. It's me and a Kampfpanzer holding this kind of crossfire. So if the E100 and AMX start pushing one side or the other, we should be able to double team here pretty easily. So I'm gonna wait to see what this E100 does. E100's not quite looking at me. So let's put one shell into him. Looks like he's gonna shoot at the other dude. Let's aim for his fuel tanks here. There we go. Not quite catch him on fire, but that's good. And I'm just gonna pressure in for the AMX because this dude will probably go down pretty quickly. He might even put a shell into me, but I have enough HP here. I'm not super concerned. Oh, getting baited by those sides. Like I said, those sides can be kind of troll because the hull is mounted so high up that players think, great, I'm just shooting in the side. And then they hit way too far down. Oh, really? The AMX just went right back to where I was. No, I got caught on the building. No, don't die. 
I need my farm. Bro, these teams are getting smacked. We haven't had like a non-sweep game tonight. This is not fun. Oh, that was not fun. <laughs> well, good game, I guess. I didn't even get 3k damage out though. I didn't think their team was gonna die so fast. I mean, they had a lot of heavies, but I guess it is what it is. Um, Let's see what, what game mode I have. Oh, I have same control mode off. Let's turn same control mode on. Let's turn it back on. Hopefully the mobile players will be a little less inclined to just YOLO into a crossfire. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Kind of love the alpha. Even if you fail one shot, still worth one shot, one other shot. For sure. I mean, 430 alpha damage. While it's not as much as the 460 alpha you get on the 128s, it is more than the 420 that you get on the, like, the IS-8 and the ST-1. The K91 gets 350 with its magazine. You know, Amex 5120 gets 400. The Yo does get 450, I will admit. But like I said, the Yo compared to this tank, I think this tank, by a long shot, beats the Yo because of its ability to reload shells much faster, right? Since the Yo is running at 1,900 damage per minute, this tank has like... 650 more damage per minute than the yo that is a huge difference so the enemy team have a lot of heavy tanks they also have a lot of meds so we'll have to watch out for that what i'm going to do this game is i think i will actually head up towards the windmill it is a risky play if i'm completely honest with you it would be a safer play for me to just go with the meds and deal with that side over there but i always try and maintain some degree of crossfire on this map so if their meds get spotted on the outside i can farm them and our meds can hopefully farm any when they get spotted on C. That's how I prefer to play this map. It, it, it does kind of depend on our meds. We only have a Sheridan that's been kind of aggressive on that side. So I am a little concerned about how passive my allies are being. So here's an E100. Let's aim a shell into his turret. There's 336 in right there. He shoots HGME. That's fine by me. Let's load another heat shell. Now, unfortunately, he killed my gunner. And I couldn't quite hit my repair kit. And we also have a TVP and T100LT shooting at me. But T100LT made a bit of a boo-boo by getting spotted up on the outside. And he took a shot from the object 263. Or 26... 260, not 263. All right, so 60 TB's up here on the hill with us now. I'm sure the 100 is still around the corner, probably trying to shoot more HE at me. There he is, shooting more HE. Put another heat shot through his turret. That's that 340 heat pen. Like I said, 340 heat is really good. We are just farming out this E100 very casually. And this is exactly why I, I say, if possible, try and go for that dual control, because you can see our 263 is having a field day up here. He is just farming and farming and farming their medium light tanks, which is really essential for my team. So we're going to put a shell into the Waffenträger, catching him on fire, which is great. We're going to put another shell into him, maybe. That might have hit. I think it went a little bit too too high, and the 100 is now pushing down low. So what I'm going to do for him here is the 100 is going to be stuck in a crossfire, but he's definitely going to be looking for me. I want to see if there's a way I can probably clip out this E100, but I think the E3 is going to maybe put another shell into him before that. E100 looks like he's looking at the 260, so let's put one shell to his side. He oh, okay, or not. Let's aim one shell in towards his fuel tanks here. There we go, shooting a shot right there, and we're gonna pull forward. So I don't want to, I don't want to get botched by the 60 TP just yet, or the E100. Uh, if I'm honest, uh, it just depends. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll just have to say we're gonna just kill the C100 first. All right, E100 just fired, one shot into him. 60 TP also just fired. The I7 and 60 TP are both gonna be pushing on me soon, but I also have an E3 right around the corner that's gonna support me, so I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna chill on the hill for now. I still want to manage to keep these dudes spotted for my allies when possible. So what I'm going to do here is I definitely want to wait for the 60 TP to shoot before making any kind of peaks, right? Because I don't want to take 600 alpha damage to the face just yet. I don't mind dealing with the IS-7. If I take a shot from the IS-7, it's not the end of the world. We're going to pull back from him. So the IS-7 has just fired. He's also getting farmed out. 60 TP looks like he's also making a pressure play here. But here is where I can probably pull back. Let's put one shell into this IS-7. We managed to bait the, the 60 TP shell there. IS-7 is pulling down. Another shell into his side. Hopefully the E3 comes in for support. E3 does fluff his shot, most unfortunately, but I'm going to use this I-7 as a bit of a meat shield. We're going to keep him stuck here, and the 60 TP hopefully won't be able to do much to me. So I'm going to gun block him, if at all possible. Or you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to ram him a little bit just to throw off his aim. He's probably still going to pen this, if I'm honest with you. Or not. There we go. Quick kill shot into him, and you can see we played that quite well. I'm worried about the Waffenträger, but he doesn't seem to be in a position to shoot at me just yet. So let's pull forward a little bit, aim it at the 60 TP's tracks. There we go, take his tracks off, and you can see... This tank manages to clutch up quite nicely. Now, I'm probably not going to survive this engagement, I think, just because the 60 TP is going to bomb me. There's just, just no way he doesn't, unless I can block his shots here. So let's let's try and block his shots up a little bit. All right, all right. Uh, one shot to his lower plate. Oh, oh, we managed to bounce one. Okay, I'm going to start pulling back into cover because I don't want to get hit by the Waffenträger. So I'm going to use the E100 as a meat shield against their Waffenträger. We're going to keep face hugging the 60 TP here. The Yo is coming in for support. Let's try and... And, and hug his gun so he can't pen me. He does pen a shell into me, unfortunately. 
It is what it is. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for the Waffenkrieger to make a power play. We're going to kill his tank there. Very good. Unfortunately, the Yo did bounce pretty much all of his shots there. So we're going to pull forward here. We're going to get to the side of this dude now, just so he has a smaller shot on me here. He's probably going to pen my turret all the same. If I pull back just a little bit, he's not going to have a good angle. There we go. Baiting the 60 TP there. That was a really clutch shot to get there. And our Yo should hopefully pen one shell, and then we can pick up a kill on this dude. Very nice work. So you can see the armor profile is certainly troll on this tank. So do keep an eye, eye out on that. Let's put another shell into this 200 LT. Very nice. He doesn't know that the Yo's reloading, so he's kind of just YOLOing through. And I think we played that situation perfectly. And this was a great example of showing you just how troll the armor profile is. It's not 100% reliable. That's for sure. But we managed to hold off a 60 TP, an IS-7, an E-100, and heck, even the Waffenträger came into Yolo S there, and we still managed to easily outplay them in that corner. Thankfully, the Yo came back when he did, but I'm very happy with how I played that situation. The next most important part is just winning this game. So I want to be careful. I don't have too much faith in our M5 Yo. He seems to be a little bit of a... Um, M6 Yo, he seems to be a little slow, judging by what he's been doing so far this game. And I also have to keep an eye out on that 200 LT. We don't know where he could be. I'm gonna load up a heat shell just in case. Uh, in case he's hauled down, I have to snap a shell into him. And let's see. All right, 200 LT's over there, perfect. I should be good to start pressuring the TI2. Is the TI2 gonna drop down? Mm, I don't think so. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut across up top. I think the TI2 is gonna keep staying up there. So we're just gonna traverse our tank over and we'll start heading on over towards this TI2. Who is it? Is on the outside. He might get clipped out by the Yo. Oh, why do you have to drop down now? Darn it. Nice one, Yo. Nice one. All right. J2, let me get one more clip into you. This is an easy ace if I get one more clip. Let's go. We just had we just had a very fire game. I want to end it in style. So let's do this, boys. I'll load up some HE shells. We might be able to HE this fool. All right. So, one HE shell. Boom. 530. We have four seconds to hit the next one. I'm sure he's going to curve left soon. Oh, what? That shot hit mega out of what I was aiming. He does shoot a heat shell at me. Unfortunately, I missed that shot. I don't know how I missed. I aimed to the left and it hit all the way to the right of his vehicle there. But no biggie. TI2 can't really escape too quickly here. I should have him on reload. He has about a 15 second reload. So I'm just going to push on over and see if we can capture a shell into him while he's running away. I don't think we will be able to do that though because it looks like he's going to get away for free. Is what it is. I'm going to play passive. We're going to win this game on caps regardless because of the timer. So I'll just wait here. I'll just wait for him to see if he comes back through towards us. Oh, there he is. So he's hugging that corner. What's the Yo's HP? Yo's a one shot. I don't want to risk losing this if I'm honest with you. He's probably just going to sit on that corner. We have 30 seconds. You know what? With 30 seconds, as long as none of us die within the next, like, 15 seconds, we should be good. I want to risk it for the damage. I'm going to risk it for the damage. I know he's just pre-aiming that corner for, for a yo. Or is he? Wow, he doesn't want to push the yo? I would have expected him to go for the kill. He's on C. Brother, you can't cap C. Why are you capping with 11 seconds left? I wanted to farm you. I should have stayed on the TD hill. I totally would have got a shell into him. Well, it's going to be a win on supremacy points. Unfortunately, the timer ran out before I could kill the TI2. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. I hear some people say TI2 could clutch. Probably he could if he killed us, but no way he could ca catch up on cap. So he did. Dang it. I was one shot under 7,000 damage that game. If I hadn't messed up that HE, I would have broken 7,000 damage on like the fourth g game of this stream. And that's what I'm talking about when I say this tank has some crazy potential. 260,000 credits profit. Hardcore, hardcore carrying my team there. I think that's, that's for certain. Because if I hadn't held off that E100, I-760 TP for as long as I did and survived the ordeal, uh, our team definitely would have lost that game. So pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that, if I'm honest with you. I, I want to see if I can get a 7,000 damage game. That'd be fun. But, oh well. I'm really mad that HE shot missed. I, I don't really know how it missed. I thought I aimed like towards the left-hand corner of his tank, assuming he'd be turning right. And it just like blopped. So I'm a little sad about that. That would have been a 7k game, which is great in a tier 9 heavy tank. Okay. So, um, all right. So it's another 210 matchup. They have a 60 TB E100, E75 IS8. In terms of heavy tanks, my team should way outperform the enemy team. We have double 60 TPs, a super conqueror, and me. 
which means we should be able to confidently work C down and win this side. Uh, it all depends though on what my heavy tanks do decide to do, so we'll see about that. What I like to do at the start, especially if I'm in a down-tiered heavy tank, is kind of go up to the ramps and wait to see what their team does. Sometimes I'll be aggressive in C cap itself, but it really does kind of depend on the situation at hand. So we have a wild T100 LT on my left-hand side here. I'm going to just continue spotting up this crossing, although judging by the 907 and T100 LT's movements, the enemy team is definitely going to be on C cap very, very soon. So someone did touch C cap. We're going to wait for them. Oh, no. I just realized. Okay, well, we'll put a quick shell into this ISA. Oh, what? Where'd that shot go? All right, there's a 200 LT. Boom. I totally just realized my allies are all in Narnia. I have no clue what they're doing. I got to get out of here. Even if I take a shot, your boys got to escape while my allies are... I don't know what our heavy tanks are doing. Like I said, we had more heavy tanks, but your heavy tanks have to be making big brain plays. Okay, let's get into safety. Perfect. I'm going to hold here. I have two, a 60 TP and a Super Conqueror coming back for support, so I'm not super worried about that. I know they have a 60 TP just pre aiming that corner. Let's hope that they, those two dudes stay to assist me. Let's see, 60 TP. He is kind of pre aiming that corner. Oh, okay, totally. Good shot by him, I guess. Good shot by him. I didn't think I was going to get spotted through the bush, so that was definitely my bad there. Alrighty, alrighty. So let's see, if the owner pulls back or forward just a little bit too much. My my whole goal in going to this position was to stump their team from just YOLOing into our spawn and, and cross-firing out my allies. Uh, I know it's not like the best farming position. Let's put a quick shot into 200 LT, very nice. But I am keeping their team at bay. They don't want to push this, especially with the 60 TP and Conqueror there. So all I have to do is just sit here and kind of act as a delay for my allies. So thank you so much, Jason Trench, for the donation. Really appreciate the support. Thank you very, very much. Let's see if I can kind of side scrape this out just a little bit. I think this, this angle here should be good. All right, let's see. Lower play. Oh, what's the, what's push shell of that? Poor 200 LT. There we go. ISA's going for the big brain side scrape as well. It's a little heat shell up for the 100. And we're just going to side scrape this corner. This tank actually is capable of side scraping to a degree. So that's what we're going to hold here and just kind of chill. Our super conqueror is finally being a little bit more aggressive. We're bouncing heat shells, probably 340 heat shells from that ISA there. So that always is nice. And I think my allies are finally ready to make the counter push that we probably should have made a while ago. So we're going to pull forward just a little bit. Put a quick shot into this eye site. 534 max roll. That's always pretty juicy, isn't it? Let's wait for our lower plate shot. 366. Definitely a low roll, but no biggie. We still did easily, you know, 800 damage. Almost 900 damage there. 850 or so. I'm going to hold this corner because we're going to get a lot of farm out. So this is what I mean when I say positioning is really important. This tank for where you can deal damage most consistently. Because by going to this position here, I was able to guarantee that I would be both safe and able to shoot their tanks when they were distracted. And uh, if I had pulled out, I guarantee their team would have pulled up to these ramps, they would have taken here, but because they all got distracted on my object, they all got stuck in C-cap, and that's why we're going to win this game so comfortably. So I'm going to get ready to start pressuring the C-75. Let's go for a lower plate shot. There we go. Nice lower plate shot into him. Let's see if we can put a quick shot into the 60 TP while we're at it. There we go. I'm going to try and pull away from the 60 TP. I'd rather not take another shot from this dude. Hopefully the Conqueror goes for the kill. Do, 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 do. Nice one, Conqueror. Very good stuff. And that just leaves this poor Pori 75 here, who is definitely going to get bombed very quickly by my allies. I'm sure the Yag's about to bop him as well. Let's put another shell into him. Nice game. It was a 7 0 sweep. Thank heavens I pulled out when I did. Um, by going to that position, I was able to just farm 4,500 damage there just by sitting in that broken wall position. That's a very strong spot on both spawns, by the way. If your allies are kind of in the vicinity, but they're not supporting you directly on C cap. Going to those broken walls in a heavy tank or any kind of heavily armored vehicle and holding, it, it stumps the enemy team because either they all get stuck on that corner too scared to push you, especially if you have some support kind of sitting back, or they all YOLO you and they all get stuck in awful positions. So usually that's a pretty good strategy uh, if you're unable to fully escape. Obviously, if my whole team was going A in that game, I would have just like sent it straight through our spawn into encounter cap but since we had those heavy tanks there i felt comfortable holding the broken walls just a good little position thought i would call that out real quick and also we have a bobe with us so okay you can't quite see her there we go there's bobe hi sweetie man got two aces yes sir back to back aces nice thanks day six man is already you to congratulate me on acing the 50 tp no <laughs> hey oh no he's sticking to war gaming no get out of here what do you mean do you know tanks call collect credit points do you know tanks collect credit points you mean they they earn credits yes i do <laughs> hey it's boss how are you what's up das yusuf has spaced armor didn't know that man thank you does it have spaced armor i just think it has like relatively thick armor the sides I, I don't know if it's spaced i don't think it is but it's it's thick enough or maybe it's slightly spaced actually judging by the hull it might have like a flat spaced armor so maybe 
Lazy Cat. I know she's the best. Anyways, we are on one of my least favorite maps in the game. It is Dead Rail. However, as I am in a tank that has eight degrees of gun depression, troll has turret armor, a good gun, I, I feel pretty confident pushing straight out the middle of the map. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight out the middle here and see if we can catch any unsuspecting piggies off guard here and start eating them in the sides. So here's an IS-8. Let's put a quick shell on the There is a Yo on my left. So let's just pull back. Yo is just clipped out, which is great for me, which means I might be able to put another shell into this IS-8. And just like that, we easily did 870 damage. Hello, brother. <laughs> Guys, smash that button. And thank you, Russian Disaster. Thank you so much for the de donation. And for Nabobby RNG, J6 Ranch, thank you guys. You are you are truly epic. I appreciate the support. Anyways, I actually out-reload the Yo here, so I feel confident enough to put another shell in towards this E5. I'll wait for the Yo to shoot twice. He's fired once. Okay, he's about to shoot again, right? I don't want to take one from him, though. Oh, he totally took one from him. Very pathetic of me. All right, we should be good to put a quick shot to this IS-8. Look at this gun. So the IS-8 did pen my turret with heat. I'm not exactly sure where. It wasn't my upper plate because that was the yo that shot my upper plate. But, you know, that's why I'm saying don't 100% rely on the turret armor this thing. Now, I out-reload the yo by a pretty significant margin. So I feel confident here pulling up on this E5. and get ready to put some shells down. Another shell into this D125. The yo is still kind of reloading. Let's put aim at another shell on this E5. Now, the yo actually... Wow, I didn't think he would have the angle there. That was definitely a mistake on my part. But we only took one shot. The armor did work a little bit there. The E4 and STB are on the flank. We have to be pretty fast about clearing the side out because if we don't, we're going to start getting shot up the rear, which is never a great situation to be in. So I'm going to hug this hill here. Let's put aim another shell onto this E5 side. Very good. E5 getting bopped there. 60 TP also pulling forward. It looks like we're going to have to make a pressure in that corner because we're going to have an E4 pulling in on us soon. And I'm sure this yo is getting ready to start bopping us as well. So I'm going to pull out, hopefully through the safest route. I don't think the Yo can shoot me. And we're going we're gonna to get away from this E4 crossfire and just push all the way into this gully here. And that way we'll be safe from any crossfires. I don't know where the T95 is, but I think the, the VK-72 would be getting bought by him if he was here. So it's time to start making some pressure plays, my dudes. All right, so E5 has just fired. VK hit in a very, very hot max hole. The TI-5 has also just shot his gun, which is good. Let's see if we can do anything. I don't want to overpoke this. I, I believe the WZ can take care of that situation. I also want to get safe from that TI-5 who's right up there. I don't want to get hit by him. So if our allies stay in the mid, they are going to get farmed out. So we have to keep an eye out on that. My primary goal right now is to try and defend our spawn from the E4 and the Yo, if at all possible. If not, it is what it is. But I'd like to try to hold this side. And I won't be able to spot these dudes up. And I know the Yo could double tap me unless he mega low rolls. So this is definitely not an ideal situation to be in. Because I can't pull back because of the TI-5's positioning. Unless... So the Yo just fired, right? Alright, this is a really risky play. If I can make it to this corner, these dudes will be able to crossfire support me. Right? Easily. Uh-oh. 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 I got stuck crossing. I got stuck crossing. I got stuck crossing. Ah! We escaped. Okay. Okay. Now I'm in a position where they have to mega push me. Right? The VK is here to cover. My primary goal is to kill this STB-1 first. I don't want to take one from the Yo. Obviously, I'm a one-shot to him. So, we'll just have to wait it out. The E4 probably will take a while to get close to me. Dang, that is unfortunate. My allies did not play that well. They all pushed into a mega crossfire there. All right, here's the Yo. Let's put a quick shell into his side. 396 into him. Very good. I'm sure the STB is probably pulling in around my rear pretty soon. So, I'm just going to get ready for that. He probably thinks I clipped out and... and I don't know if he knows my reload time or not. Oh, man. This team was not very, very spicy, was it? All right. Here's the STB. Wild STB yellowing in. Let's put a quick kill shot into him. There's also an E4 on my left. Let's see if we can maybe bait another shot into this dude. Boom. Shaking his tracks off. If we can bait one from him, I'm just going to try and bait one from him. Uh, nothing I could do there. Absolutely nothing I could do there. Our heavy tanks... I, okay, our both our TDs really messed up there by pushing into enemy spawn. They have a T95 sitting in their spawn. You can't push that position when they have a T95 sitting there. I didn't play a perfect game. I definitely took at least one shot there I 100% should not have taken. But yeah, tanks like a Gorilla 15 or WZ really made it complicated. Because if they had sat in the position I was at at the end of the game, they could have prevented the Yo from pushing forward. They could have kept the E4 from pushing forward. They could have killed the STB. There was no reason for them to push all the way forward. It was much better off to just hold that gully, especially... Especially because they didn't have any TDs in their, like, the big hill on their spawn. They would have been safe there. So, not much I could have done in that situation. I, I did do my best, but it was a tier, it was a tier 10 matchup where my heavy tanks didn't quite big brain there. That tier 5 had a field day. That dude was just sitting there, you know, eating some popcorn, drinking a beer, just like casually on his computer, clicking the fire button every 10 seconds or so. <laughs> I don't have it, but good to know I should consider it when I get it. Oh, good here. Just got home. Nice. Russian disaster. Home from work? 
204 damage on the gorilla. I don't know how the gorilla did 204. Maybe he picked up a kill shot. We'll see. All right. Finally, we're in a tier 9 matchup again. This is great. By the way, this tank is more than capable of dealing with tier 10 tanks. It deals quite well with tier 9 tanks, and it absolutely destroys tier 8s. Like, this tank is a tier 8 nightmare. Like, I feel so bad for their KV-4. Or KV-5. Well, what is the KV-5 going to do? What's the T-28 prototype going to do? These dudes are going to struggle. I'm going to be pushing along towards this left-hand side here. To, or right-hand side here to help my allies out. I have a yo with me. My primary goal right now is to see if I can get some early shots into any of their heavy tanks. Looks like this dude's playing pretty passive. He probably spotted me up, but eh, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we also have a crazy, absolutely cracked T-54 lightweight. Oh, and a Confluencer 70. Let's put a quick shell into the en engine deck there. If he continues pulling forward, that's going to be a disaster for him. Let's angle our turret up toward the VK-45. Get another shell into him. So we do get some nice shots into the heavy tanks. And the Kampfpanzer is getting absolutely destroyed. KV-4. Oh, he hits the outside of my hatch. So he didn't actually full pen. Let's go. Alrighty, alrighty. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push down low and get ready to start bopping these fools. So let's start off by getting ready for this KV-4 here. There we go. We matched the beta shell to our side. We'll put one shell into this dude. We'll just continue pulling forward. We're going to aim for his lower plate here. I missed my fire button twice. I don't know how. My controls are slightly different on my press account. I can never get them exactly how I want them. That That's really annoying. You you can always tell when I miss my fire button because I'll like scope out for a millisecond because I always scope out right after firing. All right, so we got a wild, wild Waffenträger. He's not going to survive, so I'm just going to aim my next shot in at this KPZ. Very good. This game's already over, by the way. I'm going to repair my ammo rack. Very nice. And uh, we have blocked 1,900 damage, dealt 2,300. Hopefully, you'll be able to deal some more damage. A wild KB-5 has appeared in Narnia, but that is no biggie. I'm going to get ready to start putting some more damage into this KB. Or not, I keep calling it a KB-4. I mean, VK-45 on 2B. Let's put one shot into him. I do take a shot, but it's not the end of the world. Let's get ready to put one more shot into his lower plate. There we go. Very nice stuff. And now we can start turning our attention towards this KB-5. Get one more clip into him for about 3,500 or so damage. I should have had at least 4,000 damage this game. I should be able to get it with the KB-5. My only issue is I missed that one shot, which kind of uh, got screwed over my damage there a little bit. All right, let's aim at the KB-5's hatch. Boom, 358. Very nice. Let's aim in for his lower plate here as well. Boom, 452. He's going to go down pretty fast here. Good evening, fans. Great to see you out there dominating Optimus Prime. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate everyone's generosity today. Thank you. Thank you very much. All righty. Well, besides Pepega Fatness shooting, where he missed his fire button twice, and therefore messed up a shot when he actually did manage to hit his fire button on the third attempt because I scoped out, um, not a bad game. It was a very quick 4,000 damage. I tell you, this tank deals damage, so uh, this tank is very fun. I'm not going to buy it by account because I don't play tier 9 often enough to personally warrant gambling all my gold away on my account for it, especially since I'm saving for auction later this year in about 10 months or so, whenever the auction is. Um, but... If I had a lot more gold on hand, I definitely would have tried to get this tank. <laughs> it's using other stats of health rather than the DPM. At least that's what I think. Uh, what are you referring to, uh, MJ? Are you talking about this vehicle? Because, I don't know. There's like, there's nothing I dislike about this tank. Nothing. Obviously, it's not an invincible vehicle. But in my opinion, it's just so well-rounded. It just accomplishes so much. Hello Royal, how are you? Human Shark, I'm doing well. Welcome to the stream. Guys, make sure to smash that like button. Let's reach that 200 like mark by the end of this epic game we're about to have on Rock Field. And so the enemy team, they have an Object 752 on their side and a lot of meds and a 112. They're pretty lightly armored, to be honest. And we have a Moishin, a Leo PTA. We're also pretty lightly armored. So I need to decide what I want to do here. We have slow heavies. But I personally do not like fighting at A in the slightest. So I'm going to just spam this corner here to try and encourage my team to come with. And so my allies are coming with. That's perfect. And so what I'm going to do from here on out is they only have a Scorpion G as far as tank team destroyers are concerned. I think I'm going to go up towards the mid. I wasn't sure if I wanted to take corner, but I don't know how much support I would have if I went corner. These dudes look like they're going to go down the mid. And obviously, it's always good to have someone defending the outside. Someone is already in B cap. And let's see if we can maybe double bop whoever that is. So not quite able to do that. There's a 54. I'm sure it'll spot me up if it's there. 
Wow, someone's capping B mad early. All right, well, I'll wait for them to pull forward, maybe. All right, so there is... It's their object. Oh, my goodness. I might take a shot here from him. How did he get into B cap so fast? And who caps B an object right at the start of the game? I am so confused. All right. Well, while you're wandering around in Narnia, going for caps, I am... Let's see. Is it safe to cross? Okay, WZ just fired. 54 is probably not going to spot me up until it's too late. We're going to pull forward and kill this panther. We got to take the corner out while we can. So unfortunately, I took a shot from their object, but I, I honestly thought it was not going to be the um, the object on B cap that really kind of caught me off guard. So I was just kind of sitting up there. Here's the panther. One shock shot into the panther, and he should go down very quickly here as long as our Leo hits his next shell. You got this, Leo. I believe. Aim it in. There you go, my dude. So now we've retaken corner control. We did 892 with that magazine. That was a very high roll clip. And now I think what I'm going to do is start pushing for the 112 Glacial. It looks like the 54 is about to drop down out of the fight. Here is their 112. I don't want to over push this because they, they probably have a Scorpion G covering him from spawn. But if I can get some farm into this dude while he's still in the open, that's good for me. So let's aim for a track shot. Very good. Keeping him in place there. We'll aim for a second track shot or maybe his lower plate. Wow, he got bombed. Goodbye. Okay, so we have two kills. We are down dual caps, though. You want to watch out for that. However, the enemy team appears to be making a pressure towards our spawn, so I'm going to turn back for that engagement and try and see if there's anything I can do. This object is being really aggressive here, and um, he's about to get hammered up the side. So one shell into the side of this object, and we might take one from him, but he's about to go down very fast. That object losing all of his hit points there in a few seconds, unfortunately for him. Very good for me, though, because that means I don't have to worry about him so much because he's a one-shot. The caps are still an issue. Definitely. I believe the yo just clipped out, so we're going to start pressuring. That's why I'm going to be very aggressive in this situation. I don't want to lose this game to caps. I've had it happen way too often on Supremacy. One shell, 500 damage dealt into this dude. Let's load up an HE for this 54. Maybe we'll go max roll it. 663 HE. Oh, that is so spicy. Okay, so Scorpion G's on A cap. Good to know. Man, that was definitely worth it. That was 150% worth it. Oh, I only have one HE cell left, so I don't want to load an HE just yet. Let's see if this 55A will give me a shot here. Oh, I totally bopped that one. Okay. Now let's see if the Scorpion G gets spotted up. So I'm going to pre the Scorp here. Alright, I'm just going to reload another magazine. Alright. We're just going to full send it on the A. I want to try and bomb the Scorpion G if possible. <laughs> My bro Excel just went premium. Just wants premium. <laughs> oh, nothing wrong with good old premium, right? Alright. I'm going to go... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, come here. Where's the Scorpion turning? Okay, he's probably gonna turn back. All right, so we're gonna load up one shot to this dude. Dang it, I'm gonna have to waste a whole, wait, can someone else kill this dude? Nope, just me. Well, what a, what a pity. No, I just wasted my shot. Oh my gosh, what a waste of time. All right, Scorpion G probably won't double tap me here. He's probably gonna get killed really fast to this WZTD. Not really sure what his plan is, but it, it doesn't look like he's gonna survive. All right, WZ is probably gonna put another shell on him, so I'll just load up HE here. Boom, 550. So that's 4,500 damage dealt. Not too bad. Pretty happy with that. Bobby, you are so cute. Bobby, the best. This tank, man. This tank is just, just, it's just something else. It's ability to just casually destroy tier eights. I don't know what I'm averaging in it. I averaged well, okay, 4,045 damage, 38 games in. Obviously, I played it this morning. 82% win rate. 4,000 average damage at almost 40 games in a tier nine heavy tank. Like, yes, I usually perform quite well <laughs> in most vehicles I play, but getting 4K to tier 9 should be an extremely rare case. Especially for heavy tanks. I, I feel like tank destroyers, they can pull that off sometimes, but man, this heavy tank is strong. Something else. No aftermath. Since I'm on my press account, Butterfly Bird, it doesn't track aftermath. Tr aftermath can't track a press account because the dis the statistics are hidden to all except for me when I'm viewing the actual, like, account on Blitz. I got- I love collecting tanks, but the scepter is not going to happen. Green Bean. I- yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't- I don't really plan on spending anything in this event. I don't find a- I don't find the M3 Yo with a- with a camouflage all that desirable. I already have the Galactic Riches profile background. The, the boosters are, you don't, you can barely earn any gold. And the crates, you don't even get anything really that good out of them. And the camouflage is just kind of meh. So, I'm probably not going to waste my boosters. I'll just wait till next year. Alrighty, so. Alright, 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 alright. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go straight to encounter cap right off the bat. And try and get some early bops off onto any unsuspecting fools. Look at this camo. It's so cool. I love the hologram. I just wish it stayed on for longer. 
you know, so I could, I could, I could enjoy it a little bit more. Your cat, I know, isn't she cute? Look at her, she's licking her paw. She's so cute. All right, where is it? A dog? Ah, don't call Bobby a dog. How dare you insult Bobby? <laughs> Bobby is beyond dog levels. She's the ultimate kitten. All right, let's see if we spot anyone crossing right off the bat. So no one spotted on this left-hand side crossing, which means they're going to be on the right, probably. We can see there's an STG already up here. Let's see if we can aim in a shell onto his side. Aiming. I'm going to keep an eye on the mini-map. Oh, he barely pulls forward just in time. What is the odds of that? He doesn't even know I'm here because I'm not spotted. There we go. One shot to this STG. Judging, yeah, I was going to say, judging by who has, no one's been spotted going down, it's very obvious their whole team is either spawn sniping or in ruins. But I do plan on using that to my advantage because if no one's in town, I can take this ramp here and no one will be able to shoot at me from the sides, except for maybe any TDs they have up there, which we will have to watch out for, but I'm not, not super worried about it. Not super worried about it. Let's get ready to start dunking on some people up here so let's see if anyone's in this td bush that i can shoot at not quite yet there's the 75 playing fairly passive what i'm gonna do here is try going haul down on this bridge i haven't really tried this before but i, I feel like it could work let's put one shell into this e6 and just kind of wiggle around a little bit there we go we'll put another shell into the carnarvon 400 into him and you can see this tank's low profile means you can work positions like this bridge and just be completely hauled down. That is very satisfying indeed. So here's the Waffenträger. We have an Object 84 on our left. I'm going to angle up towards him so he doesn't get a clean shot on my turret. I don't know what his plan is, but he will be the main issue that I'll have to deal with now because the only reason I was able to work this position is there was no crossfires, but that's not the case anymore. If we can get some shots in the C-75 though, I would certainly like to. And I have enough HP where an Object 84 won't be the end of the world if it starts shooting me. Let's see if we can get another shot into the C-75. Aim, not quite able to. And that's good enough for me. So, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to start pressuring this object out of position. Looks like we have a Progetto 46 in the back there. So, I will have some kind of cover fire for my ally. Don't want to over peek this because obviously they do have a Waffenträger up there. But if I play this right and carefully enough... It shouldn't be the end of the world. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that Waffenträger going to keep backing up? If he keeps backing up, that's perfect for me. I am spotted now, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I feel like this Waffenträger is going to back right into front of me. HE 596 into that poor, poor Waffenträger. We also now have a Carnarvon Action X coming in from behind. But that won't be too much of an issue. Let's put one shell into this Carnarvon and we'll just pull through into safety. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pull into this ditch before the Waffenträger can put another shell into me. Let's see if we can pull down low. Perfect. We are now in a safe position. You definitely have to be careful when you're playing the middle of the map like this because if you go slightly out of position, enjoy getting bopped by your allies. So let's put one shell into this Waffenträger. Maybe we can max roll an HG shell on him. Let's try for a max roll HG. Oh, 575 was a high roll, but not quite a max roll. Okay, so Waffenträger is now on 50 HP. Yes, the score is down 2 to 4. Am I overly concerned? No, I, I think we can pull this off as long as this Progetto doesn't get himself farmed out unnecessarily. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't win this game. As long as I don't bleed unnecessarily. We know the E75 is going to be on our left soon. So I'm actually going to take a position. I, I don't know where he's going to poke from. But I definitely want to make sure I can get a shell into him when he does make a play. Right, M6 is making a play. Let's aim a shell into his side. No way. That shot went to Narnia. Okay. We need to kill this Waffenträger. That is for sure. So let's aim it and I shell into him. There we go. We have a 704 on us now. Let's try and avoid one from the M6. The Progetto puts a good shell into the 704. I'm going to run away from this corner here. Try and get safe from the E6. Hopefully he doesn't put a shell into me. Very good. We managed to bait a shell from him. And now we can just go straight for the 704 who definitely needs to die here. So let's put one shell towards him. There we go. Oh, mega low roll. That's so unfortunate. All right, track him. Yeah, that was really unfortunate low roll there. Dang, that sucks. Okay, we're going to have to run away from this. E75 will probably reload in time to kill me, though, unfortunately. Maybe I can pull this off. Nah, there's no way. Progetto, why did you have to die? Oh, that team was so bad. We should have won that, dude. The 704 surviving was so bad. 330, what was that? A 330 roll or something? Oh my gosh, that's so dumb. That was so dumb. If I would killed the 704 there, I could have just, like, pushed on one of the heavy tanks and I would have been fine. You know, I could have either gone, I could have just like gone and face hugged the 75 killed him and then turned around for the M6 after while, while kind of using one of them as a meat shield. That is so unfortunate. I'm actually a little disappointed by that. Oh, well, we still did 4.7k damage though. And I think that is our first loss in the tank today so far. So not too bad. I'm going to go left here. I could go town, but honestly, a haul down IS-4 and 60 TP or side scraping or anything, I don't want to deal with that, right? Those dudes are just going to pen me anyways, so I'd rather push left here and try and clear their med side out at the start. I'm not going to be overly aggressive in case they do decide to send their whole team over to C, but we can definitely try and work down this position here. So, let's see. We have two heavy tanks wandering in the town. Hopefully, they don't get yolo by seven tanks and die. 
I'm going to try spotting up the mid as quickly as possible in case they are sending tanks this way. We're going to aim a little bit to the left in case they have any meds crossing. And okay, their whole team's not here. All right, well, that's kind of good news for me. I'm going to be a little aggressive because our heavies are going to die pretty quickly here if they don't get any support. So what I'm going to do, so the Sheridan is definitely going to be a potential crossfire off to watch out for. But for the most part, your boy can just push forward. I'm going to go for the 60 TP first. Oh my goodness. Nice for stop to shoot at me. No. No. I am getting screwed here. All right. All right. Here's the Sheridan. And the gun accuracy said big time no. At least I stopped them from blitzkrieging our heavies. That was the goal. So at least the important the important mission happened. I didn't think the IS-4 was going to turn to me. I thought I was going to keep pulling forward. So I kind of way over peaked that, predicting his his move. But it was an inaccurate prediction. Here we have a Fosh on the side. So let's put one shell, 399. He's going to pull forward probably or or just or turn forward or yep there we go another shell to him bit of a low roll magazine but at least we did manage to put a full clip into him and it looks like the Patton and Sheridan are just getting wrecked in their spawn so that's great this size 4 is being a little aggressive but he doesn't have any support the 60 TV is rotating back which means K91 is kind of looking like a little bit of a snack over here so let's aim it at the side of the kit I don't know why the K91 has like a black hole for a drive wheel it is the most annoying thing ever I'll just aim it as flat bro this dude is so lucky okay looks like the Sheridan is just sending it for me. My gosh. That is so annoying. That's one thing I hate about the K91s is they have these like weird black holes in the side of their drive wheel that just like eat up shots when they're at a, like a severe angle. But we should be able to start hitting this dude now. So let's put one shot into him. Let's put a kill shot into him. Very good. Fosh is on the right. 60 TP is on our left. So I'm going to pull down just a little bit here so he's not shooting you know, on my haul. I'll pull back just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, the Fosh isn't a problem for the time being. I am haul down here, which is great news for me. Let's see, 60 TB's not looking. Let's aim at the back of his turret. There we go, 380 and down there. Fosh is getting wrecked, and 60 TP looks like he is also getting kind of wrecked there. Let's put another shell on them. Nice, okay. Not the highest damage game. We could probably get another clip into this IS-4, in which case we'll end around, you know, 3,500 damage maybe. But it's still gonna be a solid dub. I definitely messed up a few shots that game. I, I wish I hadn't messed up the shots in the K91 because that wasted so much of my timer. Let's aim for the IS-4's lower plate. You, how does it hit under his tank? Oh, there we go. One more shell to the IS-4. We can still get another clip into him. There's still a chance to pull out 3K+. plus. Let's go, boys. Yes. The, uh, the, the Badger's just shooting HE. This should be easy claps. All right. Let me just kind of casually pull into a face hug. Now we're going to start pulling across with an angle here. Heat for the upper plate. Boom. Very easy stuff indeed. And a nice track shot there to keep him in place. Then we're just going to sped boost out of here, hopefully, so we don't die. Oh, he's got me on reload. Oh, wait, wait, angle? Oh, he low rolled anyways. We're fine. Actually, he mega high rolled 440. That was a super high roll for him, but luckily it wasn't high enough to kill me. Do you have a uh, septic tank on your press account? Oops. <laughs> I had Scepter. Uh, I do have it on my press account, so if you want me to whip it out at the end of the stream, I could do that. But I'm pretty sure it's identical to the regular M5 Yo. Just throwing that out there. If I hadn't messed up so many shots in that game, it would have been a 4,000 damage battle. But 3.6, we still did top on the team. I wouldn't say the cleanest game. That was just pretty, pretty chill farming, I would say, for the most part. Russian disaster, by the way. Thank you very much for the donation. How does the Optics M5 II compare to the K91? Actually, K91 still has better DPM, slightly better mobility. And I would say it's it's armor is similar, but not quite as consistent. So in terms of firepower, the K91 is better when it comes to like, if you're caught in a situation where DPM is more valued. But I think the Object 752 is better for dealing damage because you'd have to poke less often to deal that damage. You get an extra degree, degree of gun depression, slightly better armor. But it just has a lot going for it that the K91 doesn't necessarily have going for it. So that's why I would say this tank is definitely very, very big brain. All right, so he managed to be a shot out of this dude. Let's see if the Kron gives me a shot here. Let's aim for his upper plate. Boom. Oh, he hit his tracks, unfortunate. He might use a repair kit here, in which case we can still put a shell into him. There we go. Getting two shots bounced from the Kron, and where are my allies? Okay, VK's pulling up. That's good. Enemy team has a lot of tanks here, including a wild badger, which I don't want to deal with. However, if I back up just a little bit, we might be able to clip out this 121B. So let's see. I know he's there. I want to overpeak this, but I'll wait for him to start rotating backwards or forwards. There we go. Clean shell into his side. Very nice. Standard B is also in the mid. We might be able to sneak a shell into him if he pulls forward a little bit more. Let's see. No, don't pull backwards. Pull forward. Yes, yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Blind shot. Oh, <laughs> definitely not going in. Oh my goodness. The wild badger has appeared. All right. Well, I'm safe in the badger if I hug this hill. 
So the enemy team definitely have a num numerical advantage. Unfortunately, our 60 TP is doing what most super heavies do nowadays, and it's just sitting in the back of spawn doing nothing. Uh, but Badger, lower plate, boom. 370 there, very good. Badger's also tracked for the time piece. I'm going to aim this one in fully. He's now one clip to me. However, your boy's about to get just like completely YOLO rushed here. I am going to pull back into the safest position possible, but I'm probably not going to survive this, especially since our 60 TP is going to be doing practically nothing to provide me any actual support here. I'm going to pull back into this ditch as quickly as possible. Kron's going to put a shell into me, probably. He does get one shell into me. Maybe we get one more shell. One track shell into the Kron. Nice max roll. No. Don't, don't kill me. <sighs> Why 60 TP? You didn't even shoot them when they were completely side on to you. You had 10 trillion opportunities to shoot them there. And you just sat back sniping. I don't understand heavy tank players, man. You're in one of the strongest tier 10 heavy tanks in this game. And you're going to use it as a Gorilla 15 spawn sniping. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. I wish, I wish players understood this, the very basic concept of how to use their tanks. <laughs> if that 60 TP was there with me, those dudes never would have YOLO'd and we would have been fine. All the 60 TP had to do was like pull back or forward into a position where you could crossfire them. And those dudes would never have full pushed that because they would be too scared. But uh, we should win the game at least. Although the 60 TP was absolutely zero help to me there. I mean, I'm sure he farmed some damage off of them because the heavies were ignoring him for a while. But still, it does make me a little sad. At least we're going to get the dub. At least we're going to get the dub. <laughs> not good take. Who said not good take? If you're saying the Object 752 is not a good tank, uh, you might want to reconsider there, sir. Because this is a very, very good tank. It doesn't mean you have to like it if it's a very good tank. But there's no denying that this is one of the strongest Tier 9 heavies out there right now. Let's go. You guys got this. My gosh, man. <laughs> Our teammates are struggling so much. Uh, the 60 TP playing like he in the Asia server. Well, I mean, NA server camping heavies are very common, too. I think I got around 3k out that game. 2.5. 2.5, I think it back. I bet I still have farm the 60 TP. Oh. Okay, he did one more shot than me. Let's see, he's probably 50%. Oh, okay, never mind. 44%. Okay. I bet you somehow did zero. I don't know why... Oh, the 44 percenters united on my team. If our Badger and 60 TP had just chilled and played heavy side, that would have been such an easy uh, damage game for me. The issue is I got stuck with two tier 10 heavy tanks just pushing into me. And our full HP 60 TP didn't want anything to do with that. He was just like, I'm just going to hide behind this bush and stare at a badger. I have like a 10% chance of penning. My dude, no situational awareness. And not only would I have survived that game, you would have survived too. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> All right. Um, tier 9 matchup. They have object... 752, a mil 2, a mil 1. That's it for the heavy tanks, whereas my team has uh, me and an M4 MLE. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm not going to go heavy side. I would much rather just sweep their med side. So here's where I'm going to make the decision to use the object 752 in a non-heavy tank sense, in where I just go to A and fight their heavies. The reason for that is they do outclass me in heavy tanks, especially as they have two auto-loading heavy tanks. I'm a little bit concerned that if I play overly aggressive there, put one shell into this dude. I don't know what his plan was there, but clearly getting nuked was part of it. And also that's gun handling said, yes, sir, we hit those. So the enemy team being a little passive. And if I were to predict what they're doing, okay, well, I didn't predict that their 752 would be here. That's for sure. But it's not the end of the world that he is. Okay, okay, there's, there's no way you hit that on the move. On the move, he hits the viewport. Man, some players get so lucky. <laughs> Get out of here. He didn't even aim that shot in in the slightest. Oh, man. Then again, I hit a pretty a pretty whack shot on their... Um, I also hit a pretty whack shot on the on the, the the Defender one. But still, that was kind of Pepega, if I'm honest with you. Do I have support here? Yeah, if they decide to YOLO me, I have support. But the main, my main concern right now is just simply the fact that these dudes are going to be in the corner. And no one's going to be there to stop them from just YOLOing in on me. So I'm going to pull back a little bit here. We might take a shot from this dude, but I just got to get out of here because my allies are being super passive here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't let... I told you we're going to have a bad game. I told you we're going to have a bad game eventually. What are my teammates doing? Oh, my gosh. Our M4 is nowhere in a position he would be useful. 
Our action X is spawn sniping. God, these spawn sniping heavies. Uh, why are heavy tanks just sitting in spawn? Well, like I said at the start of the stream, there's probably going to be one game where I do 800 damage. Just, this, just to show that the tank isn't like ridiculously broken where you can do anything and get away with it. I don't think I did the worst play in the world. The issue is, our only DPM heavy tank was sitting in spawn. Our M4 did nothing to try and prevent those dudes from pulling forward on me. And our Object 84 and Standard B just killed themselves right off the bat. My gosh, man. Uh, very, very Pepega allies. Very, very, very Pepega allies. There was nothing I could do there. There was absolutely nothing I could do there. I should have just gone to the ship. Honestly, didn't expect their whole team to just YOLO into C-Cap there. If I'd gone, if I'd gone to the ship, I could have crossfired out their spawn and probably farmed damage. We'd still end up losing, judging by the gameplay of my allies. But, um, my goodness. Well, we got a total of two shots out that game, just to prove to you that we can have bad battles even in super good tank. I bet I sold it better than like half my team. I still don't know how two players still did worse than me. <laughs> oh, my average probably dropped. Yeah, 3,900. It's I. I don't ever expect to keep my average from streaming. That's just a given. I have accepted. Ah, uh, that was painful. That was painful. That team, that team is not very, not very good. I don't, I just can't comprehend. It's impossible for me to, to understand why people think sniping in heavy tanks is a good idea. <laughs> I just can't comprehend. Do you have armor? And heck, quite often you have enough DPM and, and penetration to deal with the front lines. Leave the sniping to the TDs, my dude. Come help your heavies on the front line. Because the enemy team pretty much just straight up YOLO'd like five tanks into that corner there. And then, you know, our standard B was way too aggressive off the bat, got himself killed. And then it was just me versus all their guys because our object somehow got himself killed in mid. I'm not really sure how that happened. And then our M4 was being really passive and obviously our action X was sniping. But like I said at the start of the game, that was a risky battle to play against their heavies because they just had two tier nine heavy tanks, right? They had two two nines, we only had me. So they were gonna win any kind of heavy tank engagement. So that's why I really wanted to clear their meds out, but I wasn't quite able to pull it off. So this is a ho -ri. This tank will butter me with absolutely no problem. So I don't want to over poke a ho -ri at all. We do manage to bait the 704 though. So let's put a quick shot into the 704. 450 in the end there, that's good. Uh, let's see if this ho -ri gives me any kind of shots here. Here's the ho -ri. We will get a shell into him. Oh, we ricochet him! A miracle! Okay, so we hit the outside of my turret. Let's go. So this tank is super, super low. So low that I can't even really shoot the 704 when he pulls back far enough. And we will have to watch our left-hand side here. So I think it's just a Conqueror for the most part that's possibly causing issues. The grill is probably staying a little far back. I'm going to see if there's anything I can do about Mr. Conqueror here. So let's put one shell to the Conqueror. Very good. The grill is already in the corner. We can put another shell to the Conqueror. I didn't think the grill was looking at us. And apparently the Conqueror did not shoot at the side of the Hori. Okay. So we have a lot of tanks pushing up on our left hand side here. I do have an M60 that will kind of go haul down with me, but I don't want to take a super haul down fight here. It's generally speaking just not ideal. Um, 50 teams gave me a nice side shot. Wow, I don't know how to shot it in pen, but okay. Let's aim for his hatch here. We do pen those. Let's go. That was a good shot. Gorilla, hopefully we'll get taken care of soon. This game is going to end up being a sweep because their TDs just got wrecked right off the bat. So if our M60 gets a little more aggressive here, I'd really like to kill this 50 TP. But it all depends on what our M60 decides to do. Let's angle up here our hall. We managed to get one nice shell into this dude. I'm going to hit SOS. Hopefully the M60 decides to provide some assistance. Another shell into this dude's lower plate. Uh, M60? Oh, M60 wandered off to Narnia. All right, I'm going to get really close to this dude just to make it super hard for him to reliably penetrate me here. Let's watch what the E100's doing. E100's not looking. I'm going to angle up my side a little bit here. Boom, getting those ricochets. Very good. Just keeping situationally aware of what my allies are doing. One heat shell into this dude. And we can just pen his cheek. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to watch for that grill. He might pull forward to try and kill me. So I'll wait till the M60 takes a shot from him. At least I'm predicting that's what's going to happen. Um, or not quite. All right, let's just yellow in for damage, boys. It's the end of the game anyways. So let's get that last minute farm in. Let's aim for the fuel tanks, baby. What? You've got to be kidding. How does that do zero? No. No, my 4K. Oh, oh a meat shield. A meat shield. <laughs> the girl's like, I want to kill the shiny new tank. Look at this E100's turret. It landed in a perfect position to keep me safe from the grill. That poor grill. He was like, I got this, boys. I'm going to go clean up that, that, that new tank. And then the E100's like, no, no, you. All right, 3.8k damage. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, it could have been a little better. I don't 
I don't know how that last shot didn't pen the 100. I'm assuming I hit the very back of his drive wheel, which caused the shot to hit like, uh, you know, once it went through the drive wheel, it hit like the very angled rear of his hall. Unfortunately. Hello, Fatness. How do you like the new object? I love it. I love it. It's a very, very fun tank. So I'm enjoying it a lot. It just feels very comfortable in a variety of situations. I think that's why I like it so much. For me, it almost feels... I know this is kind of a ridiculous comparison, but it almost feels like a heavy tank version of the patent in terms of this being very versatile. I hope that comparison makes sense. Can you tell Tiff to do a heavy tank spawn camp stream? Well, there you go. You just heard. And I don't I don't know if Tim Oh, Tim is in strat. There you go. There you go. I'm sure you saw the donation. Thanks for the donation, Green Bean. Fast one TVP stream. I've already done TVP stream a while back, and honestly, the take hasn't changed since then. So it's still a pretty really solid example of how to play the tank. Here's what I'm going to do from this game. Because honestly, I don't like getting stuck. What are you doing, 54s? Defend C. No, where are you going? Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to have to try and defend C myself then. So I'm going to be very aggressive through here. Okay, okay. So here's our object. Not quite able to snap that shell on them. It is what it is. Uh, but there is a chieftain. Put a quick shell on him. Very nice. This is one of my favorite positions on this map. You can't have too many tanks here, and you only take this position if you either have control of C or you have tanks holding mid. In this situation, we do have tanks holding mid, so I'm not particularly concerned. Also, we're definitely going to be making a counterplay here onto help our, to help our poor T30 out here, who seems to be getting YOLO'd. There's not really much I can do about it. There is a scent, a wild scent. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Shot goes to Narnia. Oh, well, I guess it is what it is. Uh, let's see, if the scent pulls up again, we might be able to help him out. I'm gonna reload my magazine. Alright, yep. Oh, the CDA. Okay, he's spawn sniping. Eh, I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna keep holding the bridge for now. I have enough allies here if they do decide to pressure me. I'll have support. Alright, so here's the scent being really aggressive. Let's put... I think we gotta kinda push this dude. While, while he's while he's kinda by himself. There's a CDA there, but I have a T30 here for support, so... Let's get ready. We're gonna try and bait a shell from the scent here. One into his lower plate. 476. Nice high roll there. Very good. I don't want to overpeak this once again because of the CDA, but another lower plate shell into him. And just like that, we've taken off over half of his hit points. He's on 700 HP. I'm going to get ready to... Mm, do I want to go up or is the Scorpion G headed this way? Actually, Scorpion G might give me an HG in just a moment. Let's, let's pre-in for the Scorpion G. Guys, if, if we get a max roll with our second shot, we might be able to max roll this dude. Max roll kill him. I'm going to wait for him to pull forward a little more. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where you at, Scorpion? Where you at, Scorpion? All right. No way! Get out of here. No. What? They she didn't pen? How? How do I do 200 splash damage but not pen them? Wow, that's bizarre. Okay, excuse me, T30. All right, CDA, I believe, is probably still back there, but I'm not too worried about him because the game's already over. I don't know how their team died so fast here, but it is what it is. I'm just going to pressure back in for the Scorpion G. What up, my G? I'll be ready to get double clapped. One clap, 443, and two clap, 411. Hopefully he dies soon. The CDA looks like he's getting bombed by a T30 though. Oh, that is rather unfortunate, my dude. That is rather unfortunate. I'm gonna go for the CDA because I'm, I'm a 50 damage farmer. This is what I feel like doing. So, let's pull forward to CDA. One shot onto him. Yep, I knew the Scorpion was probably gonna die. And I only farmed 3,000 damage this game, but oh well. I kind of fluffed a few shots that I shouldn't have that battle. And I was, honestly, I should have just farmed their heavies out instead of pushing C. But as their team was being pretty aggressive on both sides, I didn't want to get in a crossfire if my allies died on the mid of the map there. I definitely would have been caught in a crossfire. So that's why I decided just to yote through C cap. But then, then after I killed the scent, it was kind of just a lot of wasted time. I spawned snipe because I'm gamer. <laughs> hey, if you're doing a TD, that's fine. Oh, that's no, because you can buy easy crates. Did you watch Narnia or something? <laughs> Fantasy thing 752 is good, OP, or broken. I think it's very strong. Whether or not it's OP is debatable, but I think it is definitely on the very strong side of the balancing scale. I wouldn't say it's like a complete game-changing broken tank. Because as I've shown, like the tank can be a little delicate when you put it into the... Uh, a little bit too aggressively, so you do have to play a little bit consciously in this vehicle, but I would still say it is a very, very strong heavy tank. And it's, it's, it is currently my favorite tier 9 heavy tank. I think my previous favorite tier 9 heavy tank was the ISA, so I don't know if that's saying much or not. <laughs> Can you try about five, five games with the refined gun to see if that keeps Narnia free or sh of shells? <laughs> uh, might be worth it. Also, 
poor mobile queues are taking too long. Let's go back to PC queues. Just just for the sake of um, just for the sake of increased chances of getting games and not this waiting in queue. Alright, gotta go fast. Have fun with the tonk. My guy just says. Thank you, RK. Have a great night or, or morning, depending on what time zone you are. Hey bro, do you have sim control on? Oh, Russian disaster. I did, but I just turned it off as you saw. Alright. So what we're gonna do here. Two options. We can bomb through the bridges or we can bomb through town. Looking at their lineup, they're probably going to go town. And if they do go town, I will easily bop these dudes from haul down positions. That is what I want to do. Because they only have an IS-8 and a mill and a Tiger too. These are not heavy tanks I am scared of in this tank. I can deal with them. Yes, the TDs are a little bit more suspect. But I think for the most part, we can definitely pull straight in towards B here. And get some early shots off. So here's the wild mill. Boom. 444 into him exactly. I'm going to keep preeming this crossing here in case anyone gets any uh, kind of bright ideas to be a little more aggressive here. I think the mill is going to be our first victim. Let's wait for the pull forward. Let's put a blind. Let's not put a blind shot into his tank. I take it back. Let's just shoot our shell into a wall. All right. Ice ape being a little bit aggressive. And oh man, that poor T28 had a really bad game. Okay. Oh, it's a wild Waffenträger. A wild Waffenträger has been spotted. All right, let's let's aim aim in. Let's get ready to aim the shell in. We bounce 350. Let's aim it for this dude's lower plate. 490. Wait, what on earth are you? I was so tunnel vision. I had no clue this dude was here. HE! 575, and he gets taken. What is going on this game? There's people yellowing left, right, and center. I don't understand. I'm glad I went town, though, because I'm getting all the farm off of this. But my goodness. All right. So 704 can't shoot me. I'm sure the Waffenträger is kind of pre that corner. Oh my gosh, the Tiger's pushing out the Waffenträger, dude. <laughs> HE! Oh, 663 max roll! Let's go! That was a good shot by him, I will admit. But you know what? I hit him for like the exact same damage in a heavy tank, so that's always a dub in my case. Alrighty, looks like we got some cleanup to do over here on the left side, boys. So let's go help our poor VK 4502B out here. Alright, Mr. VK, I've come to support. One shell into you. And let's reload, and let's put a shell into... Okay, wait, 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 you blocked my shots. Let's put a shell into... VK, why did you have to block my shots? I, I kind of stabbed it because I thought the Waffenträger was about to shoot me there, so that's my bad. Uh, I say to shoot the VK. Why are you trying to shoot me? There you go. Yes, very big brain. All right, all right, let's just push forward. At this point, this game's already over, so... Put one more shell into this dude, he gets taken down. And we just got to YOLO YOLO for damage. And this dude's gonna die really fast, so I'm not gonna farm 4k this game. I unfortunately messed up way too many shots this battle. We'll get some ram damage in on this dude. Yes, an extra 8 damage. I feel very accomplished. And we have a wild AMX ACA on the flank, who's probably about to get bombed by a scorpion. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, he's definitely getting bombed by a scorpion. If not, then maybe the VKB. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. Well, we got like 3.8k damage. Hello. What's up? No skill. The advantage is already I like the, the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> That's quite the logo for rain. I know, Snakebite. The best logo. The only logo. Hey, Bobs. Oh, you're so cute. It's her favorite corner. Yes. We love... Okay. Just some, some close-up puppy action. Yes. Cute kitty. She's the best. All right. Tier 10 matchup. This tank should be good for this map. So what I'm going to do, uh, this battle, so I have an I-7, a mill, they also have a yo, so they do have some pretty potent tanks. I'm going to hold bridge because this tank is very comfortable when it comes to holding corners because, once again, it's all about just, like, those alpha trades. So, if someone tries pulling forward, you track them, you might get two shells into them for free. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this bush. Also, because this tank has a frontal mounted turret, I feel fairly safe making this corner peak here. I would say you shouldn't always make that peak. Oh, that's unfortunate. I got spotted there. Um, uh, IS-7 being, uh, really aggressive? Like, really aggressive. The issue is he's gonna spot all of us up. I don't know why he was playing so aggressively there. Alright, one shell into his side, maybe? Not quite. He is what it is. I, I, I don't know what his goal is here. One shell into IS-7, that's not a very intelligent poke, dude. You're gonna expose your side every time you do that. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. So, I'm just gonna hold here, I guess. Hopefully, IS-7 starts making a pressure play. If their IS-7 backs down and their mill pulls forward, maybe I can push some shells into him, so... Let's wait. I think their mill's probably pulling, poking forward right about now. So I'm going to see if I can spot him up at all. Come on, mill. Where are you at? Where are you at? All right, all right. Maybe not the mill, but definitely the yo. Oh my gosh. So their whole team is just sniping in the back. Go figure. All right. Well, I can't really shoot anyone else. So I guess it is what it is. Losing all my HP there. Oh, I just missed my fire button. Another shot to the mill. 
Dang it, I should have known the whole re was there. I didn't think he was, because I thought... No, he hit the I-7 earlier. That was a very bad play by me. All right, I'm going to turn around and kill the 54. My team is down 3-0. and So, our object 704, for some reason, suicide YOLO'd. And then, my other allies are just, like, doing nothing. Our IS-7 returned all the way to spawn, for some reason. I think it's safe to say my team is very much not going to win this, boys. All right, maybe we can almost shot to this dude. He has a one shot at least, but no, there's a T100 LT that's just gonna yellow in for me now from behind. No, get away from me! Get away! You, you must have had a T100 LT. My team was. I don't know. I have IS7. What are you doing? You're full HP and you're wandering around in the back of our spawn instead of helping us hold the front. And what did our meds do? Oh, so we had two Skodas. They had a 200 LT and a Skoda 54. Ah, uh, I should have got med side. Looking back, I wasn't reading the lineup at all. I didn't realize we only had two tier 9 meds. So, of course, we're going to lose that. Of course, we're going to lose that flank and lose the game quickly there. I instantly regret turning same control mode off. Just the, the, the sheer number of Pepega Yolos has just intensified tenfold. I don't know what is up with PC players. Aye, aye, aye. I probably still did top. Of course I did. I didn't even play that great, but both of our I Ooh, 37% win rate. Yeah. 47% win rate. Both of our IS7s did one to two shots. Our only tier 10 tanks in the entire match did one to two shots. And their IS7 was playing super sweaty in the ditch, so there was nothing I could do about that. Ah, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. There's only so much you can do. Especially when both IS7s are just doing nothing. That was the worst part. If our IS7s had played aggressively, Maybe even like killed their IS-7. We could have had a counter push into the ditch. We might have been able to clutch that. So looking at this lineup, the enemy team have more heavy tanks than us. So I don't really know if I want to go heavy, heavy side. I could. The, the main issue with going heavy side on this map is tires always have time to aim in at your weak spot. So depends on where the 60 TP goes. I guess I'll try. I'll try getting into the ditch right off the bat. All right, there's their IS-7. It's a lot of a heat shell. Boom, 310 into him. That's mega low roll for a 370 heat alpha. And let's see if this I-7 makes any more plays here. So I-7 isn't quite pushing on me. So that just happened, apparently. I hope the I-7 isn't too mad at me. So I- Oh, I have a firing squad right behind me. I'm chilling. I don't have to worry about them pushing me in this corner, at least. Not yet. So let's wait for this I-7 to pull forward again. And let's just kind of peek out. Hello, buddy. Let me put 368 to you, good sir. Oh, this poor I-7. Bless him. What if I can find him with AP? Nope, we'll definitely put heat shell there. What? How did I mess that one up? Very Pepega of me. What about my left hand side? 60 TP is holding. I would love to push into this mid so I can pressure the I-7 better. My main concern though is they'll just all pile in through D, so I'm not gonna make that push just yet for obvious reasons. Alright, wild I-7 spotted. Let's let's see. We bait a shell from him. Aim a shot for his turret ring. 365 in there. This is where that lovely 375 heat pen is so nice. Oh, we've even bounced the E4. Let's go. I7 doesn't realize I still have another shot. So another heat shell. I'm down to four heat shells. So my main concern with this tank, honestly, when I play it, is the fact that you do not have much ammunition. That's actually a really big kind of negative about this vehicle. Because you run out of ammunition pretty easily on this tank. And if you're in a haul down situation like this, you're shooting, you know, heat because you have to. It's the only way I'm gonna pen anyone is by shooting heat. Then I'm gonna run out of ammunition. Let's hope I can kill the I7 with this next shot, then I'm out of heat. Oh, I have, I have one more magazine if he... I'm watching that 183, so if he pulls up to that ramp, I gotta get out of here. Otherwise, I should be safe, and I believe he'll get spotted by our meds if that happens. My primary goal right now is just killing this I-7. Once he's killed, my life becomes easier. So, let's just load in a high explosive shell for this dude. Not quite able to pen that one. It is what it is. Let's just aim in at his turret roof. Another high explosive. Dang, there's all my HE out of the game. And it looks like our 704 is full sending it. What a G. Okay. Now we can make the pressure play. Now we can make the pressure play. We know where the Yag is. We know where the 183 is. We know where the E4 is. We should be able to start pressuring these dudes just a little bit here. So first, I'm going to make sure the Yag's not peeking there. All right. I don't want to waste my heat shells just yet. So I'm going to wait for the VK to get a little distracted. He is distracted now. Let's put one shell into him. Very nice. He is just trying to angle. But, you know, VK sides are very kind of pepega. Oh, never mind. I should have just used my heat shells there. Alrighty, so VK is just using his tungsten. I'm just going to pull around to his side. Why are you not shooting for the lower HP 704? You're just going to ignore the 704 so you can shoot at me. I see how it is. I just got to gun block him so he can't pen me with heat. If that's what he's trying to do. There we go. Oh, he just wrecked himself. All right. One shell into this dude. I should be able to pick up the kill. I'm worried about whatever's behind me. 
It is an E4. Okay. Please shoot the 60 TP and not me. Why didn't you shoot the lower HP 60 TP? I can't understand these players, man. They're like, the VK could have used his tungsten shells on that I that summit of four, but instead he goes for me. When I had way more HP. Alright, one shell into this dude. Four seconds to so get hit a second shell into him. Boom. Nice. 4,500 damage dealt. There we go. That was better. Also, can we get a can we get a get an F in the chat for that poor IS7? He pretty much got full HP brained on by by a haul down object object. I wonder if that's a 37%er from last game. Hmm, 47. Was he in our last battle though? Was he on my team last game, Mo Momo? Let's see. No, he was oh wait. No, he wasn't. Oh, poor IS7 players, man. Poor IS7 players. These uh, IS7 players just uh, are struggling out here today, I guess. Yo is good. I'm used tier 9 now. Nice game. Thank you. Thank you. That was some pretty chill farm, I'd say. Uh, what are we going to do here? Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to deal with a, with a side-scraping VK90 supported by a Yag and a 268. We're going to go clear the bedside. I think that is definitely the best option in this situation. So we're going to go left with our... What do we have? Uh, T62A. Endure best to take corner away from them. There is a decent chance their team comes here. I have no clue why the 62A isn't taking corner control. Because he could spot them up really early doing that, but I, I, I guess not. Uh, assuming their team even headed this way. Yes, because I got spotted. There are tanks around here. However, I think they are semi-isolated. Well, never mind. The 200 LT is being really aggressive here, apparently. I'm going to see if I can spot anyone up. So that's what spotted me. Of course, so the 907 is spawn sniping. As all talented medium tank drivers should be doing. But I really can't blame him. I have a feeling he he's lacking on support. Judging by... Yeah. I'm so happy I didn't go heavy side. I should have been faster pushing the 907 though. I was just concerned about the Yag. But now I see that their TDs are being aggressive. We're good. Alright. 907's about to get some unpleasant bop treatment up the rear. We hit those apparently. I missed my fire button initially. But I still managed to snap it off just in time. So I say that's a dub. So 907 making a break for it. Yes, run away, little one. Run away from me. All right, all right. Where, where are you going to be, my G? My G. And is he going to hook a left or hook a right? Dang it. I didn't know which direction he was going to go. So it looks like, yeah, my 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 poor E100 over here is not having a very gamer session. There is a crossfire, though. So I'm going to sit here for the time being because I have a crossfire on this mid portion. I'd like to farm it out. Maybe this 268, we can pick up a kill on him in just a moment. Oh, 268 gets hammered. Nice shell into the Conqueror as well. Do we have time to load up a third shot into him? Not quite. Interquip was just a millisecond too long there. And that's that's that. So what I'm going to do from here is probably drop down through B and see if I can deal with these dudes on the right-hand side. I'm a little concerned about the Yag's positioning because he will have a crossfire on us from there, but... I also think he's going to be a little scared to, to push up, especially with all these TDs up there. So we might be able to pull this off, boys. Let me get a little bit of a pressure on this Yag. Conqueror's down low. Oh, oh, that's a 50 TP. I didn't really want to face him frontally. Angling up there. Not quite able to get the angle in all the way. That's another shelter's lower plate. Just get safe from the 907 and the Yag. Very good. He's not going to poke me anymore because the 62A is, is saying uh, a greeting to him. I don't think I'm going to farm a ton of damage this game. Ooh, Yag just fired. Honestly, I should go for the Yag because he has the big, big pow pow gun. But uh, it'll, it'll, it'll kind of depends on what type of shots I get here. Uh, we'll just. Oh, I keep. Okay, I really need to adjust my my fire button angle on this on this account. I don't know how I'm messing it up every single shot. Okay, I'm gonna put a quick shot onto this dude. This object 907 is going for the Yolo run. Oh, we get the double ricochet. Let's go. So we're gonna survive this. We're gonna survive this. We're we're fine. We're chilling. Yes, we're chilling. Also. Uh, okay, I can't reset my controls just yet. No, you no, you don't, Yag. No, you don't. Okay, well, he's up there. I, I really don't know how I'm missing my fire button so much. Maybe, maybe it's too low. Okay, I believe they all just fired. So, 907, one shell into you. And let's load up another, another shell for the 907. Lower plate. Nice. Definitely not clean. Not a clean game by me at all. But at least we survived. At least at least we're surviving. We're thriving. And maybe if we get lucky, we'll get one more shot in. Although I think the E4 is about to bop this dude right up the rear. So goodbye damage. No, my damages. Good game. With double object 752, I tried it and it's OP. Um, maybe, although I don't really feel like platooning right now. Also, Bobby, you're so cute. Oh, 3.5k damage. Not bad. Not not the cleanest game. I could have played that better. For sure. For sure. I missed a few shots I definitely shouldn't have. 
make the fire bomb bigger. It's max size, my dude. It is maximum size. At least I'm, I'm pretty positive it is. We get, yeah, see, max. It's just because I, for some reason, I adjusted it on my press account, and I can't quite figure out to get it to the exact pin precise position I have it on my own account. So I keep accidentally messing it up, and I'm trying to figure out what I did, what I did wrong. Uh, it looks normal, but oh well. <laughs> How many gold it took for you, Fatness? Well, this is a press account, so actually, technically, this is Wargaming's tank, not mine. <laughs> so um, yeah, no, no gold, cause, cause they give these tanks to me so I can play them on stream and stuff like that. All right, so we got an M5 Yo here. Let's put a quick shell on it. Oh, 60 TP. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, get, oh, get bossed on. Oh my goodness. The 60 TP just, just got a, a hardcore case of 60 TP gun handling syndrome. And on top of that, he just lost like 1300 hit points. That had to hurt. Bless his soul. Anyways, they probably have one TD in the corner, one on the left. I want to start pressuring this Yo though, so I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive over the mid here, and hopefully the C100's here to help out a little bit. So we got this wild Yo. Yo has a three shot. He's fired, I believe, tw twice. Okay. There we go. Nice shot into him. If the 60 TP gets a little bit antsy to push me here, that's not going to be so good for him. So 60 TP just fired. Let's put a nice max roll into his lower plate. Okay, I figured out the issue. It's not that it's vertically tall. It's too far to the right. I was watching my fire button while I was playing there. And I was hitting really close to the edge on the left-hand side. So, I should be good now. I should be good. I think we fixed it. Oh my goodness, that yacht got lit. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. I think that should be pretty good there. Alright. Boom. Okay. Well, it was an RNG shot. Also, this game is already over. So, let's just full send at this point. Do, 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 do. So, I think I'm going to go for the Waffenträger. But while I'm at it, if I get shots in the M4 MLE, I'll totally go for it. Because if he's in the open, that's free damage. Wait, why are you looking at me? Okay, that's fine. He'll probably pen this, but I'd rather just farm him out at this point. There we go. Give me a little bit too much side and bop. Nice. Awesome. And now we can start dealing with the 704 with a Waffenträger. I am at 3,000 damage, so this game has a lot of damage potential to it. Waffenträger doesn't quite have shots on me, which is good. Uh, the Yo is going to ignore their Yo. No, he has no spawn liner, but he's getting bopped by my allies. No. Oh, my goodness. Question is, does this dude have a spawn liner? Yep. Oh my gosh, so not worth it. Oh, at least we max with that shot. Yo, are you just gonna continue to ignore this dude so he keeps shooting me at the rear or, or what? Appar apparently the Yo has absolutely no desire to try and kill the dude that was right in front of him in the open. Okay, there we go, he gets taken out. Finally. All right, all right, all right. Oh no, the uh, often triggers guns blocking my shots here. Okay. That dude's about to go down. Oh wait, TVP, maybe TVP can back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I must get farm damage. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let's bring this, let's bring this, let's bring aim. Boom. Nice. 538. That was a max roll? Well, it was a very high roll at the least. What? Where, where is he shooting me from? What? Where on earth is he shooting me from? I can't even see his tank. What is this garbage? Also, apparently the grill still allowed to shoot me because the yo missed his whole clip on him. My goodness. This yo is extremely bad at picking up kill shots, I tell you. <laughs> I'm very confused how the grill was able to shoot at me there. This dude should have been able to just pull forward and kill him. He's probably... Yo, yo, it's not... There you go. I was a little concerned. He was spending way too much time at AB that shot in. I wasn't sure. Averaging high 3.6k in this thing right now. Really doesn't have any downsides apart from reverse speed IMO. Reverse speed and ammunition count. Ammunition count is, is still a big downside in my opinion. 4.3k. I'm definitely not averaging 4k anymore in this tank. 38.89 at 49 games. If I am solo sweating on my own account, I think I would have no problem pulling 4k. It's just I don't play quite easy but on stream. Sadly, I try, but it's just not the same as just chilling in utter silence. Listening to my own heavy breathing as I game on foods. Okay, Royal, do you think PC players have an advantage over mobile tablet players? Not necessarily. And if they do have an advantage, I feel like most of them throw it away in YOLOs anyways. That's my, that's my very based opinion, okay? <laughs> um, in some senses, if they are very good at aiming on computer, and let's say, for instance, they are able to pre-aim and manual zoom. Honestly, if, I, if I'm... To be honest with you, I think the only adva major advantage PC players have is manual zoom. Otherwise, otherwise, I think mobile players that are good can perform just as well as PC players. Hey, what's up, economics mate? Welcome to the stream. Are you a computer, uh, community contributor at Fatness? Oh yeah, 
I've been in a community contributor for a hot minute, my dude. So I'm definitely spotted up. But I'm not too worried about that. My primary goal is to take the ruins from their team. So, as you guys know, one of my favorite plays on this map is to make the ruins push. Where I'm going right now, I also have a one-to-one -one B with me. And then from here, it takes like this 907. We'll have to retreat or or yellow into the open and die. I, I don't know what his plan of action is, but I think he's going to pull back. And then that's when I can start shooting him. So let's see. 907, boom. Nice clean side shot into him. We bounce a shell from him as well. He's got us kind of pulling out of here, I believe, at this point. If I hug this right-hand corner, I should be pretty safe. And we can pick up a quick and easy kill shot on this dude. So let's pick up a quick kill and shot on him. I love making this play. The push through the ruins is so strong when you are on the south spawn. Like, it works 90% of the time in your favor. So it looks like the enemy team did kind of go towards town. The bat chat's trying to make a break for it, I believe. Um, bat chat, are you going to... Why is he just, like, perfectly avoiding me completely? I don't understand these players. They're not trying to, but they're just, like, perfectly avoiding me. Okay, you know what? This game's gonna be a sweep rush, absolute sweep rush, so I'm gonna go for their IS-8 while I can and farm them out, because this game's gonna be over before we know it. All right, a wild IS-8 spotted here. One at the back of the turret. Damage his Amarok. Maybe we get another shot into his Amarok here. Not quite. WZ, pretty low. 366, bit of low roll, but this is fine by me. We'll pull back into safety. And we can deal with this IS-8, 57, and uh, IS-7. Yeah, we're not going to fire much this game, boys. I think they just have way too little HP and way too poor positioning. All right, we're going to go for damage. This game's already won, yeah. All right, give me that nice side armor. Thank you very much. I wonder if I can HE this dude. Not quite. No shell, 440, very good. Mr. IS-7 is just by himself over here. He, he's going to die before I can do anything. The Fosh is going to out-reload. The Badger is going to out-reload. And our 1-to-1B one one got the full HP from the, uh, the Waffenträger. So good for you, 1-to-1. You had a very fun game. Their team was so bad. Um, I don't know why I hit my fire bud there. there yeah, that, that was just not farmable for me, man. It's a great play that I made, but I didn't expect their heavies to die so hard. And our 1-to-1 one one just got free farm on their 907 and their Batcha. I, I don't know why their Batcha didn't try to run back through spawn and escape. This is very sad. Over up here, I was thinking I was thinking you spent this much on Bliss to give us top reviews because we all love crates. <laughs> now, I, I don't buy crates economic, mate. I I, uh, I I am not really a crate buyer. Sometimes I'll buy like the mystery crates with gold that I've collected, but I won't ever buy like money crates. Also, look at Bobby. Who's a cute kitty? Aw, she's so sweet. Sorry. I just can't help but show off Bobby when she's just like the cutest kitty in the world. Okay. Back into another game. T100 LT, standard B, T54 E1, double Waffenträger, 268 VKB. We're going left. My mission is to go wherever there's going to be the most damage for me to deal. And I have a very strong hunch, given their lineup, that they are going to be going medium side and their TDs are going to be sniping them out back. So I'm going to try and support our T92 and standard B as best as possible. And so let's head right on in. This tank is actually pretty fast. I don't know what the power to weight is off the check, but I feel like it accelerates really well. That's one thing I've noticed from playing it. I feel like, you know, for a tank that has a 38 kilometer an hour top speed and semi sluggish traverse speed, it feels like it has no problem reaching that top, that, that top speed at all. Hello, hello, T100. I hope you're having a nice day. Oh, not quite able to yoink him there. It is what it is. I'm sure there's a Waffenträger right around the corner here. All right, you know what, boys? Oh, there's a T54. There's the Waffenträger. Let's put a shell into him, though. Oh, that's a standard B. Okay, I knew... I thought someone was going to be there, but it was just a wild... A wild standard B. Also, we're totally making this pressure play. The 268 isn't here. The Waffenträger is being really aggressive. This should be an easy like push for my teammates here. So I'm gonna go all the way through this ditch and we're gonna we're gonna catch one of these waffen triggers off guard. So let's put an HE into this dude. Unfortunately, he does have a spall liner. He is what it is. Let's see if the other one does. Let's put a blind shot in just in case. Maybe that went in. We'll start reloading now. Hopefully my allies are here to push with me. I mean the Amex and the Jagger being a little passive. I didn't think the Waffen Trigger had shots on me, but I think he had just enough on my upper plate there to hit me. Oh, I did pen. I did pen the um nice we baited this dude. 
I did pen the Waffenträger with that blind shot. That is a, that is a GG. But one shell into this dude, very snazzy. Let's load up another shell for his engine. Boom, 442. This dude is not doing well in the HP department anymore, which is great. Our AMX, though, is about to get bombed by a 268. Oh, never mind. I take back the 268, just bombed himself. Oh, he is dead. Okay, did not expect that, but um, not mad about it either. I'm going to use this, this pillbox as cover from any tanks that have in their spawn, at least in theory. And, uh, oh, oh my gosh. What else hit me there? I'm so confused. What was back there with the Waffenträger? Oh, well. t 100 LT is going to be a potential issue. I'm going to focus on him instead. Although, he is pushing into a bunch of TDs, so hopefully he won't survive that. But I think he's going for our AMX. He get... Huh. Well, I will admit, I didn't expect him to do that. But I'm not all that mad because now... What? Oh, he has the side of my turret. No, what a poor play by me. Those darn Waffenträgers, man. Also, I wish our TDs would be a little more aggressive now. Okay, they are. I just wish our Yag was doing something. He's had full HP all game and he hasn't, like, pushed up anywhere. There we go. My, my dude, you just got a full Senate. Alright, there's a 54 in the back. Boo! I messed it up. That should have been, like, an easy farm 4K game. And I totally got myself killed. See, I hate this map so much. All this map is, is players just camping in spawns. And then the other dudes are just yellowing to their deaths. It's so annoying playing this map. Like, just the amount of people- just the amount of people snipe on it is just really bad. Also, enjoy getting HE. <gasps> he messed it up! No way! Yag. Full send, my dude. Don't let their Waffenträger get away for free. Oh, he's picking up a kill. What a chad. What a big brain gamer. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see this happen. Get the HE! Oh! He didn't have a spall liner! Owie! And our girl fluffs his shot. Who is gonna win? This two versus one. Waffenträger? Battle of the German TDs. Okay, oh, you could have snapped that, Yag. Oh, well. This is a, a very productive game for our tank destroyers. Well, who had the idea that <laughs> it would be a good idea as a logo for our gen? The truth, the truth surprised me a lot the first time. It was like you unanimously agreed, agreed upon. But I think it was at first Hayden's idea. 3.5. I don't know what the I don't know what you think the truth is, but that's the truth. I think I think the the biggest supporters are me, Dragon Hated, and yeah, that was that was pretty much it. So that that was just enough people to agree to that, I guess. Itcher, if how does the object compare to the K91? I prefer it over the K91. I think the K91 is good, very good actually. It still is one of the best tier nine heavy tanks, without a doubt. It has higher DPM, more clip potential, better mobility, you know, all that good stuff. But you do have to poke out a lot more often to deal damage in the K91, and I feel like the K91 doesn't play against tier 10s as well as the object 752 does so that that's my personal opinion i feel like this tank just because you have to peak way less often to deal your damage you're dealing more damage per shot and you also have more gun depression that you can work more positions compared to a k91 it it, it can deal with tier 10s more comfortably than the k91 personally i think against tier 8s though the k91's dpm especially if you love that he can be pretty nutty Hello, Fannis. Hey, Lewis. How's it going? Up oh, the wild Bobby has awoken. Where will the Le Bobby go? Oh, she's just repositioning herself before going back to sleep. Are you going to spend the entire stream just sleeping next to me? That's fine by me. Alrighty, so I'm going to go up to the mid. We have taken caves. They obviously have tanks here, but not a ton. So I think that's probably their object that's already in the cap. I'm going to be really aggressive through here. Uh, I, personally, I personally think, yeah, they have TD sitting in the back here. Like this wild 704. Okay, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I don't want to take one from the 704, but I also think this dude is pretty isolated here. So let's not overpeak this corner. But let's start pressuring this dude a little bit. Let's just start putting... Uh, you know, increasing the pressure just a little bit. Alright. RU251 is just... I don't know. Going to Narnia. I'm just going to reload my magazine. I don't want to poke the 704 till I reload my magazine. What a waste of time. Okay. I just need to make sure I'm safe from town crossfires. That's what's concerning me the most at the moment. Oh, man, I'm not going to get any farm on these dudes. They're all just going to die before that. That's rather unfortunate, isn't it? All right, let's put one shot into the 7-up. Really? No, get out of here. RNG. No, 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 no. Waffenträger, stop blocking it. Oh, my gosh, dude. The WZ rams into me. The Waffenträger blocks my shot. Gosh, we're going to be up 2-0, and, oh, and I got zero farm off of that start. What a bad start to this game. The gun kind of trolled me with that first shot on the 7-up 4. That definitely should have gone in. I'm going to push up the mid for some spotting activity. If this is 3 full commits here, that's... Bro, what is this gun doing to me? Oh my goodness. Angle, angle, side, 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 side. Yes, we got the side armor. Angle, let's go. Pull back from the ice 3 Oh, the VKB is going to shoot at me now. Okay, so apparently this object is just allowed to sit here for free. 
There we go. Now he's getting farmed out. There we go. I was going to say. Oh, please hit my space side armor. Boo. I should have pushed into the mid. I didn't think they were going to have a, a object 752 just sitting there. That definitely caught me off guard just a little bit. So you can see the front of that turret. Super easy to pen as we put an easy shell into that dude. Uh, RU251 still yelling around like a madman. VK probably still shots into me. Yeah, this game is just all kinds of bad. Their team is just yoloing all over the place, getting themselves killed. I got no farm off the start. So in terms of damage, this game is going to be really rat. This is just one of those games where nothing works out. Okay. Let's pull away from this IS-3 who clearly wants to shoot me. Haha, <laughs> get baited. And let's get ready to start clip out this VK-45. I'm telling you, it's one of those games where absolutely nothing works out. Like, so many shots just missing for no reason this battle, man. Uh, oh well. At least it's still a win. At least it's still a win, boys. Also, the VKB really wants to shoot at me, apparently, and he's just gonna let himself get nuked for it. Alright, 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 alright. Give me the damage. No. No! Okay, wait. I can still get one more shot out. We're gonna, like, 2k damage to max this battle. But you know what? 2k better than zero. Let's wait for you to get this upper plate. Boom. <laughs> Man, man, man. This was just one of those games where the gun just did not hit the shots you usually hit. Uh, my team was busted. My team was busted. I did not play that well. Oh, well. I guess it is, but it is. Right, Bobby? It's because you changed positions. Oh, Bobby Yawn, so cute. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Oh, well. Gotta have bad games every once in a while, right? Hey, what you doing, girl? She is now attacking my iPad. Look at her. She's like, human. Human, you are not allowed to do commentary. Is that right, Bobby? Aww. Here, go back to sleep in your corner, okay? Very good girl. Go back to your corner. <laughs> Hi! Aw, oh, she's the sweetest. Uh, yes, yes, I know. You want my attention. I understand. She's like... She's like, give me your attention. Oh, you're just such a cutie kitty. Are you the cutest kitty, Bobby? Or are you the most cutest kitty? Oh, you are so cute. I can't even concentrate on my gameplay. Bobby's being way too sweet right now. Hi. Uh, oh, that was a mistake, too. I'm probably gonna take a shot here, right off the bat. Okay. One shell to the Yo. We're safe from the I-7, but the Yo pulls forward on me. That's bad. One more shell to the Yo here. We are temporarily safe from the grill. This yo still is really after me. Okay, the grill just fired. That's good. All I need is for this yo to clip someone out. Not me, obviously. Oh, no. There's now a... Pa okay, okay. I got to pull back from here ASAP before the whole team comes in to farm me. One shot into this dude. And let's start pre-aiming for this yo here. If at all possible. Okay, the grill's just shooting at me now for free. Bro, I don't know what my team's doing. Come on, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start not playing in counter cap on this map anymore because for some reason players just like wandering everywhere. But every single time I play in counter cap, my teammates are like sitting back and doing nothing to support. So I, I low key feel like in counter cap isn't the play anymore, boys. All right, one shot to the two six three. I should be able to side escape here just fine. Wait, when did I turn auto aim off? No way. <laughs> I had no clue. I was like, wait, my aim isn't quite as stable as usual. Okay. This 263 is being very Pepega. Alright, 263. You better move or you're going to die. Just saying. It's not worth it, my dude. Oh, sure. You hit that shot. Alright. I, I guess it was worth the one shot of damage into me to die. Alright. I gotta pull back to a safer position before the ST1 and E75 will pull around. Please don't hit those. Please don't hit those. At least both of you, please don't hit those. Darn. Yeah, my allies are not too spicy right now. Okay, one one clutch ricochet. Okay, one HE. All right, I should be able to out reload one of these dudes. Oh, the patent's an issue. Okay, let's see if we can put some shells into this patent here. I'm just trying to help my allies out, but I, I'm telling you, our Conqueror and our IS-7 and our Badger, I, I don't know why they didn't help me out. They all just pulled back and let us get surrounded in the mid. And our meds all suicided into the mid instead of flanking around properly. Like, they could have killed the Gorilla 15 easily, but they decided to just push them into their heavy tanks. 
Oh well. Too distracted by Bobby. Um, as for my allies, very, very poor playing by them. I had three tanks, four tanks at one point, all looking at me. And no one wanted to help me. Like, I had to lose so many hit points backing out of that situation. And I had, what, two tier 10 heavy tanks, a Gorilla 15, and an M46 Pan just trying to shoot me. And no one pulled up to assist. Like, if they just pushed up with me, we would have been fine. Uh, I even out damaged a Super Conqueror who died way after me. Um, and our IS-7 did zero. 43%. I recognize that username. He was one of the IS-7s on, um, I believe that we had earlier. Oh boy. Bobby gave up and went to sleep. I know, Bobby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here. I'll give you your pats now. I'll give you your pats while we're waiting in queue. Let's reach that 300 like marks, my dudes. Like marks? L like marks? Likes. Let's reach those 300 likes. Is it good in gravity game? I have not tried, but honestly, I don't think heavy tanks are the best in gravity anymore, except for like the ones that can just ram for a ton of damage. And from my personal experience, I rammed an object 907 at full speed, and I only did 20 more ram damage to him than he did to me. So I'm going to say this tank probably isn't great in gravity. All right. Well, we all know the good old, um, how we do things around here. We always, always try and take C cap on this on this spawn of the map as fast as possible. If we do that, our chances of winning exponentially increase. If we don't do that, um, we are probably gonna lose. So what's up? This K91 doesn't just throw his tank away for free. So that'd be a little unfortunate. There we go. Enemy tank. We got the VKB here. It's been a heat shot to your freeze turret. I'm going to do my best to try and keep these dudes down, but our 113 is once again holding back. I'm just trying to be a distraction here, but obviously these dudes are not getting baited. They need to push up with me. They can't sit back there all game. Sitting back all their all game is not going to go well for them. Oh, hello, Grill. Well, thank you very much, Gorilla15. I do sincerely appreciate your service to my average damage. So our K91 dies. I, why do you guys have to hold the corner when you could just pull into C-Cap and quite literally have unlimited farm from here? This is the strongest position on the map, but no one ever does it. They always go to that corner. <laughs> I just can't never comprehend why. All right, so he bounces an APCR shell from him. Let's pull forward a little bit. One shell into the Conqueror. I mean, into the uh, to, into the VK-45 with B. One into the K-91. I'm just trying to keep this, this Chieftain at bay. You can see, though, my positioning alone, me being on this little slope, has stalled these three heavies from doing anything. Thankfully, the 113 actually came out to assist me. But, you know, right here, I'm taking the attention of the Chieftain. I'm taking the attention of the VKB. All these, all these big heavy tanks are distracted by my vehicle. Okay, we're going to put a clip into this dude. So, one shell into the VKB here. Very good. And we should have enough time to load up a heat shell that we can easily just pen right through the front of his turret. There we go. He's now two shot. 113, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, T-54. Okay, okay, okay. So he is full sending. Please pick up the kill. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. I can still pick up a kill on this dude very, very, very easily here. Let's pull forward. Boom. One shell to his side. He's dead. Very good. K91 is pulling through to safety, maybe. Yeah, he's safe. Okay, okay. We're about to lose our 200 LT as well. I have still done a lot of work this game. So let's pull forward. Our 268 is getting pressured by the Chieftain now. I also want to start pushing some shells. I'm going to make the 54 a two shot. Because he is, or what's this, AGM? There we go, he's a one shot now. Unfortunately, our 268 missed that shell. It's just me and a 268 here. I'm not gonna win this. Once again, our 62A, instead of helping our LT in the corner, threw his tank away on the flank. Our 268 kind of did the same. It's just, this map is just very Pepega at times. All I can say. And, uh, you know, if, if our, um, what's the tank called? Oh, oh, give me those ricochets. Oh, no. He got like a mega high roll in the hash. If our K91 and 113 at the very start had just sent it over with me to the mid, we would have won. The, the 113 lost a ton of hit points there. The K91 probably died doing, I assume, zero damage. Okay, he got one shot of damage off. He sat back, did one shot. The 113 sat back, he did one shot. The Yag Tiger sat back, did zero damage. Object 268 kind of sat back or flanked, did one shot. All that I'm saying, it's not complicated to play this map. I don't know how, I, I know I rant on about this map a lot, but every single time, 
you sit back, you're almost always going to lose. At least the 113 kind of distracted them when he pushed up, but, you know, we had like three or four dudes that game do max one shot of damage because they refused to push up the C. Whereas if they just pushed up the C with me, we easily would have defeated those heavy tanks without a doubt. So I tried my best. I did pull almost 5,000 damage out that game in a tier 9 heavy tank in a mostly tier 10 game. So not the worst considering considering that my allies weren't very big brain. But we're on to the next game, so we'll forget about that. I'm, I'm sure all of you guys know by now how much how much I uh, how much I take the Port Bay gameplay seriously. Please don't hit that. Please, don't. of course you hit that. Who pushes up there in a Waffenträger? What? I'm so confused. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. KV5 isn't too much of a concern, if I'm honest with you. Let's just prepare to hash this dude. Wow, wow gun. Wait, what are you doing, Waffenträger? Dude, this Waffenträger is going to get yeeted. I don't know why he's frontlining like that. Oh, he's lucky he hasn't been nuked yet. Okay, I'm going to wait for the Tiger and E70 and, and this dude to shoot. Okay, okay, they all just fired, I think. And we're, we're going to teach this Waffenträger a lesson. One shell. Object is above us, though. We'll watch out for that. I'm just going to kind of keep my attention split until we're in a safe position here. All right, KV-5 is making a bit of a play. Tiger, boom, snaps onto him, pull back. Looks like the object is dropping down to our right. Um, I'm going to try and catch our K-91's attention. Okay, actually, he didn't drop down. I thought he was dropping to the ditch, but he did. Very good, very good. Me and the K-91 should have this easily. I'll let him pick up the kill if he wants to. You got this, my dude. Nice. And I will start working down the Waffenträger. So he pens a heat shell to my turret, but he's also going to make himself a one-shot here. So one more shell to him. Very nice. 704 is on the left, but the carcass is covering. We're doing a good job in the ditch. K91's been doing a pretty good job, too. And I think we got this game in the bag. Uh, I don't know why K91's AFK. Don't go AFK, my dude. AFK big uncool. Oh, get out of here. Dude, everyone just pens this tank's turret with heat when they're slightly above it. It's a little annoying. Shoot, shoot, shoot the K91. Do it. Shoot the K91. Shoot the K91. Okay, that works. <laughs> I, I like the mo I, I like how the moment I said the K91 was doing good work here, he goes AFK. That's actually really funny. But I think his internet must have crashed because he was he was playing a good game. And I don't see any other reason for him to just go AFK. Well, this was a bad farm game for me, unfortunately. All right, one shell to 704. Very nice. Let's just turn back with this dude, maybe. He doesn't get eaten by my allies first. Boom. Oh, get out of here. No. How did that shot up then? Good try. Good try. Good, good try. Sorry, Matt, is my phone battery is very weird. I see, Potato. I see how it is. It's okay. You, you did good. We, we, we cleared that. By the time you went AFK, we'd already cleared out that side. So we chilling. We big chilling. Oh, 300 likes. Let's go, boys. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look at the lineup. So, in terms of heavies, they have 752, Doom ca uh, Cactus or whatever. They have a Conqueror and a Conf Panzer. It's me and the an E75 TS. We, we should go see. We should 100% go see. So, it took me three seconds to read the lineup and to know going A is a loss or going C is a loss. We should go A. I totally mixed up my caps there. But, I'm assuming... You know, some of my allies might not get the memo. Looks like the looks like the the two five two UNE seventy five are gonna go up mid, which which is could be worse. If they gone C, that would have been way worse. But I'm telling you, we don't really stand a chance in town when they have so many superior heavy tanks. Oh whoa, what do we got here? Hello. Okay, I was totally gonna say we hit those, but we don't. I felt like that. I I had I had the feeling that that shot was gonna hit. All right. Boom, we hit those. Let's go. Let's angle up here. Very good. I'm full sending super aggro because we're going to lose town and we need to pressure tanks like this Lorraine. So let's just do that. I'm just going to kind of look around. I think where we were safe. All right, this dude has like two shots left, Max. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get out of this ditch as quickly as possible. There we go. One shot to this dude. I have four seconds to pick up a kill on him. Um, I won't reload just yet. I might still be able to snag a kill shot on this dude. T44 did escape. Good for him. And let's see. Let's see. Mr. Lorraine. Mr. Lorraine. Die. There we go. Lorraine gets taken out. Very good. So, it was so easy for us to pick up this early lead in this game because we decided to just full send through the, the med side instead of getting stuck in a heavy tank engagement that we would probably lose. 
that's that's why you just you want to try and take those engagements that your team has the best chance of winning now mind you our team is like big braining and spawn so i gotta give them credit for that but all the same i still think it would not have ended well if we had all got stuck in a heavy tank and town engagement just because their positioning probably would have been really really good to just pressure us there i'm not really sure what the Yak tiger 88's plan is but i'm going to ignore him for now and see if i can do something about the object wow their heavy tanks are actually losing i am a little bit surprised that their heavy tanks are losing to an emil a tort oh a tortoise with 3800 dpm of course he's gonna brain on people hardcore all right i'm gonna go try to support our tortoise here we're gonna go for their object Try and bait a shell to my side here. No matter, I got the first shot off. Tortoise, I will try not to block you here. Good try, good try, Tortoise. Good try. I believe in you. If not, I'm up full forward just a little bit. You should still have a shot. Unfortunate. I will out reload this dude. The issue is he'll still get a shell into me. Oh, we max reeled. Or high rolled it. Nice. Nice stuff. Alright, I guess we'll work with the 44 first. He pens that without even aiming, so I'm dead here. Oh! Wait! He low rolled! Let's go! I have him on reload for at least one shot here as well. That is epic. Oh man, I was not sure about that, Chief. Alright, alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna track him. We're gonna get mad close and we're gonna skirt on past him. Oh, the bait! The bait 1000! Oh, we survived! No way! <laughs> I didn't think... Oh man, dude, that T44 just got... That T44 just got yeeted across. Oh, that poor dude. <laughs> So, I am, I will admit, I'm quite impressed with how long our three dudes in town stayed alive. I thought they would have instantly died. I still think it was the right play to clear out their meds. I don't know why it took three dudes, like, two minutes to kill a Yacht Tiger 88 on 800 HP, but at least they killed him in the end, so I'm happy about that. Did I miss a donation? 11 minutes ago for the beloved Bobby appearance, and now she's napping again so peacefully. If Jason, if I missed that, I just realized. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. Ah, uh, that was such a perfect play. I'm really lucky I got a high roll though on the uh, on the object there, but that was still such a perfect play, dude. Tracking the KPZ so he wouldn't be able to traverse in time to kill me, so I could just skirt on past him in a side hug. That that is epic gamer, epic gameplay. I love interesting gameplay like that. It's very fun. As much as I enjoy farming damage, those those more intense situations are much more enjoyable. So let's see. T62 is not here. They still have a lot of heavies, though. They have, what, three tier 10 heavies? So there's a pretty good chance they're going to send tanks to sea. Actually, I'd say a very good chance they're going to send tanks to sea. But we don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. I'm going to wait to see if anyone gets spotted crossing through here. It's my only position I'll be able to shoot them. Hmm. Okay, there's one of them. So our ISM gets yoded. Poor dude. I'm gonna... Um, this is probably not the best hold position for our i7. I'm gonna hold on our i7's left. I do have a standard B with me. Let's see. WZ120 is out of the fight. So, but the issue is, man, that Yo and Chieftain, they, the Yo probably, you know, the Yo and Chieftain could both be running 6k DPM combined. You know, who knows how that would go. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna stay on spotted for now. I'm gonna wait for them to pressure for it. It's only a matter of time before they start pushing up, right? Okay. 60 TP is making the play. Boom, one shell to his side. That's good stuff for me. I'm going to focus the 60 TP because he's lower on HP and he's also the more dangerous tank here that's going for our IS-7. So let's aim a shell to his lower plate. Boom, 445. He messes up a shot. Very clutch for me. And now, me and the IS-7 should be able to deal with this dude very, very easily. So we're going to lose our standard B. That's fine. I kind of expected that to happen. And uh, see, the thing is, the IS-7 is low on HP. Oh, nice. But he actually still has like almost the same HP as me. I'm going to push across now. IS-7, please get off my side. Oh no, that's a yo. Alright, one shell to the yo. Oh man, I'm gonna angle up just a little bit here. He does bounce a shell. Angle, Keep angling at the sides. The sides are pretty troll. Obviously, he pens my upper plate, but at least we got the bounce on the sides. I7 seems to be running off, but I'm not too worried about the yo yoloing me right now, because we have a 183 right here. That 183 is gonna big, big bop him if he makes any plays for me. Alright, let's put a shell to his lower plate. 400. And let's aim it an HE for the back of his turret. 510, very good. He goes down. That's what we like to see. And I think I'm going to go for the Waffenträger. I, I feel in the mood to go Waffenträger hunting. So that's what we're going to do. 
Uh, Waffentrega? Where are you? Okay, maybe not. Maybe WZ120 or, or one of these dudes. 54. Oh, 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 WZ120. Ricochet. Ah, I see how it is. Okay. Unshot to this dude at least. Okay, you know what? We're still going Waffentrager hunting. I don't care. The 183 and I7 can deal with those dudes over there. Uh, Waffentrager. No, no, no. Don't get a cheat. Whatever you do, please don't get a cheat. I beg. I beg you. Darn it! You had to get a cheat! I asked you so politely, and you just yolo on sideways and let yourself get a cheat. Darn it. I wanted to farm that dude so bad. All oh, the 183s are just. The 183s is just gonna destroy this WZ in a second. Goodbye. My damage. What a sweet game. Hello, everyone. What's up, JKR? HRF should play Sherry if we're still at the end of the stream. Mojo it wheat? Perhaps. Insert chicken squawk. Yes, 3,000 damage dealt. Well, that was a fast game. I like, I was talking about intriguing gameplay. That was not it, Chief. I didn't think our team was actually going to do so well there. I, I was a little bit surprised. It looks like we were, we didn't have a ton of support on C. And then out of nowhere, a standard B and three just pop up and you're like, bro, we got this, guys. Too fast. This thing is using a similar turret to the M4, yo, on what PC? Do you... Hmm. I, I I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a what what PC geek, so I, I I really don't know much about what PC to be honest. Get skilled on. <laughs> nice run. Yes. Team Narnia. <laughs> yes, Team Narnia for the win. All right. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go left. Looks like my allies are going left, so we're gonna go left. I was gonna say, there's actually a good chance their team's gonna go left, because now they have a Concept 1B, a M6 Yo, and a Mill. These are all hull down, and an Object 75. These are like all hull down tanks. I I expect their team to be over here. I'd be a little surprised if they went town with a bunch of hull down heavies that would do super well in the dunes. But you know what? There's always time to be surprised, because look at that. They ain't here. Okay. Watch, we hit these. Yes, totally. 100% nailed that shot, dude. Nailed that shot. All right. Good, very good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this pole. This thing is cover. Let's get ready to put a shell into their object to start the game off with. There we go, 460. Very nice. Our IS-7 is gonna get our I-7 is gonna do a magic trick. Just give him, just give him like a, you know, a minute or so and he's gonna make his tank go, go disappear. It's a pretty cool magic trick. Uh, unfortunately though, it's not, not super rare. You know, anyone can do it really easily nowadays, I think. All right, here is the object. Boom, 400 into his side. He is having a really bad day, man. Let's pick up a kill shot on him. Oh, look, the I-7 magic trick worked. His tank's gone. See, I told you, it's pretty cool, huh? So there's an M6O on our left. We'll have to keep an eye out on him. Honestly, I want to make sure we can kill this Yo first, because he's the one that could crossfire us out here, so... Let, oh, wait, that's an HE. Yes. That was a free HE. That's as free as they get. That was perfect. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to reload my magazine before I engage them again. That way we can be nice and safe. Uh, every 100 looks like I managed to full send in it, so we'll let him do that. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, Fosh baiting RE100, and the concept is already dead somehow. I don't know how that happened, but I guess it is what it is. Let's aim. Nope, can't quite hit that. All right, I want damage. Emil, come here. Oh, get out of here. How? Look, look at this angle. Tell me, how does that not pen from that angle? It's, it's, it's right into the side of his hall. That is so annoying, but the Emil drive wheels will do that sometimes. How am I supposed to deal damage in these sweep games? The reason I'm YOLOing is we're about to cap out if I don't get more damage. All right, we're splitting our shells here. I don't care. We're doing it for the damage. Ram this dude out. Uh, Preem for the Fosh. Boom, one shell to the Fosh. Once this dude dies, it's game over. So I'm going to go for the Fosh 155. Yeah, it's already game over. Hey, give me some ram damage. Why did you have to track me? Boo, I wanted my ram damage. <laughs> oh, all these sweep games. They hurt my soul. They do very much hurt my soul. Obviously, the one to one farmed a ton of damage with this 3,400 damage DPM. All right, I'm gonna turn this in control one back on for a minute. Um, that was such a fast battle, man. I want intense gameplay that makes your heart race. 
All right. Ooh, tier nine matchup. Uh, let's see. Yo, VKB, Tiger two. I think I'm gonna take a corner. Mm, or go med side. We need to make the decision right, right here, right now. You know what? We have more meds. They'll be fine. I'm taking a corner. I want to take the fight in a corner. Let's make it happen, guys. Enter the cosmos. Hope this goes to a good use and not Narnia. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you very much. I will I will also have that go towards a new capture card I'm getting. So my screen doesn't flicker as it always does when I'm live streaming, which is really annoying, I'm sure, for everyone. So I uh, appreciate the donation. Oh, how did I get spotted? Psych. Psych. All right, all right, all right. Nice, nice angle, bro. <laughs> Very nice angle. All right, yeah, A corner was the play for me at least. I think I'm gonna get a lot of lovely farm on these heavy tanks in the open. So, I mean, they have an AT-15, which has a lot of DPM, but it's not very high alpha. So if I poke out and take like one shot for shot into their heavies, that's good for me. Let's put one shell into this VKB here. Very nice stuff. Um, there's also a Tiger two in front of me. It's like the VKB might give me a nice shell. Let's see, one well, lower plate shot. Boom, easy. So I don't know if that was the Tiger two that hit me or the Yo with a three shot. I think it must have been the Tiger 2. I don't think the yo I think the yo would have been spotted. Oh no, it's the AT-15A with uh, with uh, with uh, uh, with the with, uh, with the pounder gun. Oh, max roll on, boy. All right, all right, all right. Who's my next victim? Where are you at, buddy? Oh, VKB. All right, let's load up that heat. Let's uh, let's not let's not hit his tank. I take that back. We're not hitting his tank. All right, we're gonna push. Unfortunately, we are experiencing another just absolute steamroll of a battle against their team. Like, no one on their team is alive anymore. This dude just got racked. He just lost 1500 HP as well. What is going on? Bring the madness, man. Okay, okay, wait. What, what are you doing, Type? Uh, Type, that's not how you drive, but thank you. I appreciate the 1000 damage with two shots. Thank you very much. Okay, here's what we're gonna do now. I just realized if we're gonna get any damage this game, we could maybe farm out the tiger for a shot. No, he's dead. We gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, wait, wait. psych! No! We gotta go for the yo, though. We gotta go for the yo. <laughs> I don't know how the type like bounced three shots off the side of my tank, but I guess it is what it is. Oh, this dude's gonna get hammered by a progetto. Oh, and he's gonna find by 54. No! My damage. My damage. Damage, damage, damage. Come here. Heat shell. Oh, get out of here. That's the shot that just goes nowhere. No. All right, all right, side of the turret. Hey, at least that one hits. 3.5K damage. Man, these games are so one-sided. What is this nonsense? I just collapsed my iPad stand, like very big brain. Bobby's like, oop, you're making noises, human. I am interested. Hi. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I know, you want some attention. I apologize for not providing as much attention. Hello, Tim with the most snipe. <laughs> I did not realize that with my yours. It was so popular the first when I came out since no one really knew how to deal with it. Now it's almost forgotten. Which tank are you referring to? Does anyone even remember the yo has the spare track ability anymore? I mean, I never thought it was that much of an issue for the most part. Because, eh. I mean, there were there were cases where it was annoying, but it wasn't like a game baking feature because you back up at such a slow speed. All right, farewell to Bobby. Back to the fatness face cam. Hopefully, our 53 TP is wandering to the abyss, so I can't expect support from him. Yoink! Pet, we both hit each other. Boy, boom! Oh, get brained on. Yes. That's what we like to see. Oh, and he just brained on me. What? He pens the roof. Look at that angle. You think that would be like an auto ricochet angle, right? Like look how steep of an angle he hit and still pens. I called cap. Okay. B75, you want to be next, my dude? So their objects being nice and aggressive here. You can see the side scrape's pretty good. Uh, E75 series appears to have lagged out. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this, this row of tanks we have here? I don't like this. I feel like we're we're all putting ourselves in really bad spots. Okay, we gotta kill this K91. He's isolated. Okay, wait, they're gonna push on the side. I'll push from up top. It is the only way. 
I might take a shot from their object. Nope, nope. Psych object. Not gonna get a shot. At least not yet. Okay. That's fine by me, I guess. I don't know what this dude's plan is. Another shot into him. Okay, good. E75's taken out. The object looks like he's pulling back a little bit. I gotta go kill this K91 right now. I don't know why these dudes all went, took so long to kill an AFK. I'm gonna cut off the object. He's gonna try to go hold on above these guys. Yeah. All right. I'm pushing from above right now. K91 should probably go down first, but honestly, yeah, K91 has a DPM. We gotta focus him. We gotta focus him. I'm doing this because I want to win this game. There we go. That leaves this dude here. Let's push onto his rear. Very nice. All right. All right. So we are down caps. Once we kill this object, I'll probably have to go on a cap mission. Um, and be careful of any crossfires, but this object should die really fast here, I think. Yeah, he'll go down very swiftly. Nice. All right. Let's first, first, cut off this T26 before he can kill our homie over here. I'll just, I'll just face hug this dude. Hopefully he can't pan my hatches. I think he can. I like how this dude's just like kind of giving up. He's just like, man, that's a cool armor profile, man. I agree. It's a pretty cool armor profile, isn't it? All right. So we, we take that dude out. Very, very clean. Um, a wild IAC-152 has appeared in the vicinity. We'll put a bop into his side. And we should win this game very comfortably. Very nice. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, caps could be a problem. If the 49 escapes. If the 49 escapes. The ice, you cut him off, though. Ice, you cut him off. I gotta kill the 49. Actually, I'll just kill this dude for starters. Oh, what? I swore my reticle was on his tank when I fired. I caught a cap. Straight up. What was that nonsense? Oh my gosh, we're actually going to lose this to Cap. Bro, 704, why didn't you push in? Our ISU has 700 HP. He could have killed... Okay. You know what? I did rush the shot. I didn't need to rush it. Oh my gosh. That was such an easy win. I don't... Firstly, I don't know why our ISU didn't kill their ISU. He had the HP to do it. Instead, he just wasted time and let them cap out when he could have picked up the kill there. My shot missing was partially my fault, but... I could have sworn my reticle was on his was on his tank when I fired there. I guess that's why you shouldn't shoot on the move, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. That should not have been a loss. I really wanted to kill the 49 first, and now I think about it, totally should have done that. But I can't chase the 49 as well. Uh, I see small brain, hehe. <laughs> I guess technically I'm small brain because I, I didn't fully aim in a shot on the side of their ISU. Although the issue was is that at least I thought my reticle was on his tank when I fired, but I believe that it was just like there's always sometimes there's that slight lag from what you see and where the gun actually is, and I think that's what happened there. That was a yikes, man. That was straight up a throw. It was such an easy win. Oh, so my whole team's going that way. So I don't want to stay around here too long with their team heads into the mid. But, we'll see what I spot up for now. Potential victim number one. Boom. Nice early bop into this rear. Okay, not a second one, but that's fine. Um, once one's coming back for support, but they have tanks on C, which is good to know. But that means they have tanks here. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. Um, oh, Sheridan's up here as well. Interesting. So Sheridan fired. He's going to start pulling down. Let's see if this week before gives me a shot in just a moment. All right, watch. Oh, no, we don't hit those. Alrighty, well, I think I know what's going to happen here, boys. Every team are going to have town tanks right in the entrance of town. And they are probably all just going to full send it for me, honestly. It's like this 5A here. But let them try. If they do, I'll be pulling them all into a mega ditch. And that's going to be their downfall. Oh, no, that's a yo. It's okay. I just got to keep backing up at fast speed here. I might lose some hit points here. I honestly should have pulled out much faster. But it is what it is. In the end, they're all they're all still yoloing into a ditch. Yeah, yeah, that, nice one, WZ. What are you doing now? Yeah, very nice, WZ. Oh, 60 TP is also yoloing into the ditch. 
<laughs> they're just gonna sit there and let themselves get farmed out. Oh, they're still gonna push for me though. I feel like the 60 TP is not gonna give up till he's like full on sent it. Or at least the Yo's not gonna give up. Oh, we're so dead here. Look at that suicide YOLO. Why would the Yo and 60 PP put themselves in a ditch where they're gonna get crossfired out by everyone just to kill a tier 9 heavy tank? Nice Vickers. They're all of their heavies just YOLO'd into a ditch. Into a ditch. Into a three-way crossfire ditch. Just to try and sh just to try and shoot me twice. Like I understand the WZ's initial push, but he pulled back. I don't understand why. <laughs> why the 60 TP and Yo thought it was a good idea to continue pushing into a ditch where they're surrounded by tanks looking down on them. A good game to our Vickers. He got a lot of farm just chilling there. And he's penning his shots. What an epic gamer. Oh my goodness. Not a, not a fun game for me though because I was just getting YOLO'd over and over. But at least we got the dub. At least we got the dead. Isn't 268 V4 exactly the same though? And the 268 V4 is confirmed to come into the game? Uh... I know the 268 before is tested a while back, but we're gonna be seven released it. Vickers, you have full HP. You can afford to take some shots here, dude. Okay. While our Vickers has played a pretty good a pretty good game, I have no clue why he's playing so pat. Why? Why on earth would you ram a heavy take? Oh my gosh! Uh, I'm drinking ginger tea actually to help with thy throat because <laughs> sometimes when I do too much commentary I, I I bet I still did like top three on the team. I did second place. Oh boy You know what for a 43 percenter at least he farmed up the damage that mattered when I was getting yoloed, but I mean I guess the yo got three shots off that game hmm. Well, that was interesting That was uh Very interesting. I did uh, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out right now. Why did the Vickers decide to full speed ram his 60 TP when 10 seconds earlier, he could have just backed around the corner and shot him for free in the rear. I mean, the 60 TP wasn't looking at him. He could have just pulled behind him and farmed him. But my man was just like, nah. I'm going to feed the 60 TP an extra 600 free damage right there. Nice driving, 183. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go left. This time we have the good spawn for this map. At least the spawn that's less likely to lose to heavy tank engagement. Because people always push to C for the spawn. So, we're just going to pull on full send it here. Uh, they have a platoon of 752s and a Yo. And an IS-8. But, we do have an M6 Yo running the three shot. So, we have a lot of DPM on our side at least. We're gonna have to be quick in this crossing, dude. We gotta go, we gotta go. You can't just sit back and let them get all the map control here, dude. I'm telling you right now, if you do that, it's not gonna be good for you. All right, one shot into this dude, very good. So, the good news is, is their team isn't really pushing up. The bad news is, is our single med is wandering around in the back of spawn instead of keeping their Vickers light down. So now that Vickers is going to be a major issue off to deal with throughout this game. All right, let's load up an HE shell for this dude. Nice, he has no spell liner. Very good for me. Let's load up another HE shell for him. 530 to him. Audrip bounces a cell on me as well. Okay, why are you guys sitting back? Just push the C cap. Allies, come on. You're safe from the crossfire from the right. You can hold safely hold down here. There is absolutely nothing you can lose by pushing up here instead of corner peeking in the broad open of the map. I, I, I can't comprehend. My brain can't comprehend what's going on. Why do the players choose to always put themselves in the worst positions? I don't know. And we are so getting double clipped out here. Thank you so much, allies, for, for your absolute lackluster and awful support just keep sitting in the corner and poking tanks that are staring you haul down when you literally could have just waited for them to shoot right off the bat and pushed to C and used all of you guys have 10, de 10 or 8 degrees of gun depression. Uh, why do I get the most cursed heavy tank players every time I play this map today? Like... 
Do players not even understand the concept of haul down anymore? I'm just curious. Do they not even understand what what haul down gameplay means anymore? Because these are not tanks that you corner peek in. They're haul down vehicles. <laughs> we had such a strong haul down heavy tank lineup. I mean, if the two Yo's had come with me and the M103, all, all four of us could have just chilled there in mid and just used our gun depression. I... I just can't comprehend why they all chose to sit back and corner peek TDs that are pre-aiming them and expose their entire hull. And look how many shots this Yo took through his hull. He would have never taken those shots if he just gone C with me. Ugh. Very big brain. Eh. Uh, wait, where's my volume solo? That was an accident. Uh, my allies are going to lose this. Big surprise. Hesham. Cool. Nice try. Yeah, you can just send it at this point. Just just, just finish them off already. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. I, I'm beginning to hate port play. Oof, his turret landed on the Yag. Look. Oh, that's a dual turreted Yag. It's kind of epic. I swear, if I still did better than half my team that game, I'm going to be super disappointed. Never mind doing better than half. I still outperformed every single player on my team. Probably a 50%er. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't push to the mid. You should already know by that time. Also, 50%er didn't push to the mid. This dude probably was low. Yeah, 38. I can't expect much of them on a 3 because he's a brand new player, but still. Uh... You hate to see it. You hate to see it. It's probably a good idea to skip playing Blitz when 268v4 is released. I don't know. Wargaming might just, you know, might just mega balance it. Time to pay, time to pay your paid actor teammates. A little more. Apparently, they have not discovered OP stories and skill test shares. Very bad. Yeah, little Bobby. Thank you, Stagger, Stagger Lee. I appreciate the donation. Thank you very, very much. Oh, man. The first game, their whole team yells into a crossfire to kill me. And then this game, my allies just refused to provide any support. All right, I feel like going right, to be honest. I don't really feel like going to the town against the IS-4. I'd rather just try and kill their 422 really quickly. So at least the Yag's coming with. Batchat is apparently wandering off to nowhere. Batchat, what? Ser seriously? Yeah, there we go. Come provide the assist my dude. Let's try and spot up a little bit. Oh, why is there IS-4 here? I really wasn't expecting them to have an IS-4 here. That kind of came as a bit of a surprise for me. Do I have any cover fire? Okay, the Yag is still here. That's good. I assume the IS-4 is hauled down. Just corner peeking that. Ooh. Okay, so they do have tanks on B, though. It might just be a 4-2-2 and an IS-4 up here. In which case, I can probably deal with them. Let's put a quick shell into this IS-4. Very nice. He got snagged as well, so I can load up a second shell for him. How did that one miss? Okay, nope. There's a Hovri up here now. That's okay. I'm still I'm still somewhat secure here. It's it's probably gonna end up with me getting YOLO'd, but we're gonna hopefully have a bunch of allies come in from my left hand side to provide some support. And that's all I'm gonna need here. Alright, put one shell to the 422. Managing the beta shell out of him, which is always good. Let's load up a heat shell for the Ho Re. Apparently that shot went nowhere, so oh well. Our allies should be able to help us soon. I just have to stay alive long enough for them to clear out the enemy's B cap, and then they can all come back and YOLO this side. As long as me and the Yag, although the moment that Yag dies, I'm going to lose my number one support figure here. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. All right, one shell into this dude. Finally pinning a shot on me at IS-4. You must be proud. All right, let's put a shell into his large plate as well. Pull back from the Hori, who's just pre-aiming for me. This dude's just kind of aiming at my turret. Nothing I can do about it. And the Yag kind of is in a bad spot as well. I'm just going to I'm just gonna hide as much as possible from this Hori. All right, IS-4. It may be the end of me, but you're going to lose all of your HP to do this. What? Nice meme. Anyways, while we're holding off five tanks over here, our bat chat is still... Our bat chat and 57... Uh, Yag picked up a nice kill shot there, though. Good for him. Our 57's finally getting in. The Yo's finally getting in. I knew it was a risky play going. I honestly didn't expect their IS-4, their only good town tank, to head all the way over here and abandon their K91. So we had six tanks on us over here, and it took these dudes two and a half minutes to kill a single K91 on that flank. Nice. 
I think they will win this, though. I mean, we did manage to bleed out their tanks a lot. And, you know, like I said, I didn't expect to survive this situation. But my primary goal was just to keep them occupied for as long as possible until these guys could push them through the mid. And it, it's going to work. Like, they wasted a ton of time on me. And I just lost a ton of HP on me. Uh, look at that on your left, my dude. Ooh, he did look. It's almost like he read my mind. All right, you got this, fam. All right, yo. There we go. You guys got this, right? Right? Oh, Yag. Oh, Yag's about to bomb the yo. Never mind. I love my teammates. I love my teammates. Do, 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 do. Hey, nice one, motion. Totally big brain going for those front pens. 57. Why are you sitting there with your rear to the hoorie? Oh, man. Are they throwing? Are they actually throwing? Okay, yo, you got this, fam. There you go. Yes! Okay, you should win this now. Just pull forward. You got this. I didn't farm anything that game. I need to stop playing for my teams, though. It's not good for my damage. It's not like... <laughs> I mean, we did win. But it's not fun doing gameplay like that. Simply for your team to take 10 trillion years to kill tanks. <laughs> oh, man. If I wanted to be like really just go for damage, I could have just pulled out right as right as soon as that ice for got spotted, I would have probably could have just turned around and escaped for free. But I figured it would be better to hold, especially as they, my allies were just clearing B really quickly there. Or I thought they were. It still took them a lot longer than I thought it would to kill the K91. There we go. Hello, aim time and five yo. <laughs> That 5 yo is a good gun, though. I mean, you know, it has long reload, but the gun on that tank is still mad nice. I find this. Hi, Bobby. Oh, crazy cat. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. Bobby says hi. I know you can't see her, but she's kind of on my bed over there. She says hello back. Oh, I still did top three in damage. Okay. Could be worse. Thank you very much, crazy cat, for the donation. Sincerely appreciate the support. The yo has got like aim. Okay. Perfect. All they have is a Hobie Type 2. I mean, it's a dangerous tank, but I think we can totally take a fight versus their heavies. Here's what I'm going to do at the start, though. This is a fun little play. I don't see players do it too often. If you're in, like, an autoloader right off the bat of the game, something with gun depression and turret armor, you can... So this, this little ditch in front of me, there's two ditches here. You can pull into this ditch here. You'll spot up their heavies crossing, and you'll be hauled down. So, yeah, we spotted up one of their heavies. If he pulls into the open to try and shoot at me, which I think he's considering. Boom. That's 430 into him. And you can see he's getting second thoughts on crossing. Boom. Oh, man, the gun was flipped. I didn't have enough gun depression there. But you can see you can see the, how handy it is to have a position like that, right? It's very convenient. So I'm going to wait for my camera to reset. It should be reset right about now. I'm going to go for the crossing here because I think their team is split up pretty hardcore. We can farm out the Shkoda and Chimera probably in just a moment. Oh, yeah. There we go. One shot into the Chimera. I'm sure he felt that. And one shot into the Skoda. There we go. Oh, 1,400 damage with three shots. Talk about some high rolls. Nice. So, I like that play because you can spot them up early. Sometimes they panic as well and don't want to cross all the way. Which, you know, that poor, um, that poor heavy thought. Obviously, the enemy team is very split up here. Oh, hello. I'm just going to kind of pull from you. Pull back from you a little bit here. You don't really have the gun depression. So, boom. Take 538 to the face. There's the whole re. Just me and an IS-3 here, so I think we should be good to pressure this poor WZ out. I mean, he has no support. So, I'm just going to send it on him. I'm sure the 50 TP is still in the area. There we go. We get a ricochet there. Very nice. Let's aim for the engine deck, maybe. There we go. 380. And then one more shell to this dude into his side. Hopefully, the IS-3 can pick up a kill on him. Don't shoot me. This is rude of you. You got this IS-3, I believe. And now we got a very, very uh, big brain Hori here who appears to be stuck. Hey, I'm stuck and I can't get up. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Max OAT. Oh, yes. Where's the 50 TP? Where's the 50 TP at? He has to be right around the corner, right? He can't have escaped that far. Dang, that was fast. How did all of their beds get annihilated? Wow. I'm impressed at the rate in which they got themselves killed, to be honest. Still, we got 5k damage out that game. What a sweep! Oh, man. Crazy cat. Once again, thanks for the donation. <laughs> Sheesh. 
Well, that was um, 5,000 damage. Finally having a decent game after a string of just awful battles. That was fun. That poor 112 Glacial, though. Poor dude. Hey, dog. How's it going? Your trash goodnight. Yes, the courtesy dog greeting. Good to see you as always. I got both the tank and the camo in four crates. Oof, in four crates, lucky. Here comes the Argent fan club, lol. What do you mean Argent fan club? I think you mean the actual Argent club. There's a difference. <laughs> I don't think you could be a fan if you're an actual member of, 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 the, of the clan. I, mean, I suppose you could, but that wouldn't really make sense in my opinion. All right, I'm gonna go town. They do have a yo and an object. 752. We'll have to watch out for that. And it's just me and a 50 TP. 50 TP is a solid tank, but it all depends on how well he plays with me here. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm sure there's someone pre in this corner here. Okay, there's a Tiger here. There's I6. Boom. 440 into his Amarok. Tiger's gonna pull forward, so let's get rid of the side script this out a little bit. Boom. Another shell done. 360. Let's try and angle up our hull a little bit here. Man, this tank's upper plate. It's so easy to depend from close quarters. I mean, it is pretty flat, to be honest. Even though it is angled to some extent. Oh, come on, Tiger. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Get baited. Get baited. What are you doing? Y'all are like, new tank, my shoot. And you're dead. Nice. Okay, very good. I think we got this in the bag. Me and the 50 TP are doing a good job double holding here. And it looks like both their autoloaders are super passive. And I think the Yo might have just fired a moment ago as well. Just keep staring at me, but don't worry about the other dude. I'm going to shoot the Yo because he's more dangerous. No, buddy, you ain't going anywhere. Got to try and gun block him here. All right, you're stuck in a crossfire, so I don't think there's much for you to do now, buddy. I will I will applaud your, your ability to just, to, to just kind of sit there and tunnel me, though. Very commendable. You probably would have been better off killing the 54, though. Just, just throwing it out there. Alright, one shot into the object. You should go down pretty fast here. Nice. Now I can start turning around. Where are the meds? Nice, we played that well. Yeah, we definitely brained on their heavy tanks, that's for sure. And... Ooh, yeah, 49. An HE clip into him would be pretty satisfying. See if we can make it happen. They fire just now. Oop, 50 TV just missed them. Well, hello. No, 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 boo. I wanted to HE you. That's not how you do it, buddy. <laughs> ah, well. At least, uh, at least you got the dub. That was a better battle. About 3.8k damage, I think, with the ram damage included. There, he's dead. Okay, well, GG. GG, not too bad. Hey, 350 likes. Let's go, guys. Nice job. Who thinks that auto-aim is annoying when you're trying to uh, peek corners? It can be, for sure. I think I think you get used to it. Uh, it depends on what version of auto-aim you're using, too. If you're using the old auto-aim, if you're using the old auto-aim, it's not as, not as invasive. If you're using the new auto-aim, it's going to, like, mega track on. That will definitely be harder. Ah, thank you, thank you. I was wondering how people deal with the auto-aim jittering up and down when aiming. Indeed, don't use it. <laughs> just big brain. Just don't use it. Just buy a, a just buy a computer instead. Instead, and download Blitz from the Windows Store or Steam. <laughs> no need for auto aim after that. You have a you have giga brain manual manual PC aim. Can someone tell me what this chat and Blitz is all about? There are neither channels as it was before, nor can you talk to anyone and anticipating the question, I do not have a ban on the chat. Sheen Mordeal, I believe that's for the Asia server and maybe the RU or EU server. The NA server actually still has chats and stuff like that open. Um, I believe Wargaming turned those off temporarily during the start of the Ukrainian crisis. And I think they like haven't turned them on for some of the servers yet. Not really sure why, but that's that's all that I know. All right. So we're gonna go spot the mid. This is my favorite spot on this map. In fact, I pulled like two seven, 
7,000 plus damage games on my 200 LC last night on this map twice. It was kind of funny. I got the map twice, and those were the two, like, big damage games I got. I was like, okay, this map kind of rocks. Uh, I'm going to spot at the mid. Obviously, they're going to have heavy tanks coming this way. Ooh, they're also going to have a wild K91 over here. So, let's put one shell into him. 470. That had the hurt. Aiming another shell into his large plate. Oh, 450. That had the mega hurt. This K91 is having a really, really bad, bad day. And I mean, like, a really bad day. Poor, bless his soul. He is practically dead. So, the Yo is all by himself. And to be completely honest with you... Uh, my controls are closed for a second. Oh, the 704 just got bombed. Oh, no. K91, what on earth are you trying to do? You're a one-shot. You shouldn't be risking this stuff. I want to double- I want to double tap their- their Scorpion G. I don't care if I get nuked for this by a sound of four. I'm gonna make this happen. It's the last thing I do. Yes. One shot. 500? Alright, please, Maxwell, they cheat. No! It would've Maxwell too. No. Oh, why does he have to get shot by everyone else? I was about to just brain on this dude. He's just like, no. I'm just gonna let myself get shot instead. So uncool. Maybe the AMX? Give me a shot, AMX. Give me a shot. Yes. I will turn back for the 704 here. All right. So that just leaves a lovely, lonely yo somewhere in town. Where's he going to push? You think he's going to push back or push towards our spawn? No way I was farming damage that game. Their team just got absolutely destroyed in caves. Oh, wow. Oh, we hit those. Nice accuracy, by the way. <laughs> I wonder if I can HG aside. Nope, definitely can't. 490. Oh, 702 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, geez, destroy the stream. That attachment is sick as hell. Yeah, it's fire, right? It's pretty epic. It's pretty epic. And just like that, the enemy team was not having a very gamer day. I think it's as hard as getting Confounder 50T. Which vehicle are you referring to? I don't understand why I see so many Scepter running around. Oh, it's easy. Any player that has a ton of credits or a ton of boosters. And trust me, a lot of players have a ton of boosters because, you know, especially players that buy crates, you get a ton of boosters from buying crates usually. Um, could easily afford that. So, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I would not say, if you're referring to the Scepter, I would say that's by no means uh, anywhere as difficult to get your hands on as the Confenser 50T with its 0.004% drop chance. Big Gamer, hello. Hey, Juicy, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I suppose it's morning for you, evening for me. All right, let's first see if anyone's crossing. Hmm. Well, not quite. There's a K91. Ooh. Ooh, hold for just a little more, buddy. Just a little more. Do it. Do it. Make it happen. Come on. I know you want to. He wants to. He's looking. But he's not doing it. What an epic gamer. You know what? I still feel like he's going to go for it. I'm just going to free him. It's only a matter of time. You got this, fam. I believe in your abilities. Do it. Okay. I might just be wasting my time at this point. How is the K91 on 800 hit points? What what on earth did he do? Oh, whoa, 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 Pat and chill, chill, chill. Okay, well, Pat did, did not want to chill. The K91's already dead. Hmm. Well, this game's over. Yeah, this game is big time over. I got no farm. I should have just gone straight into the heavy side, dude. Their heavies just died instantly for free to my allies. That's kind of unfortunate for me. But hey, at least we get a redemption arc to HE a scorpion. Okay, so he had to get HE he had to get HE by someone else. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe? Oh, we actually penned, but only 470. Nice little offering Traeger. Yep, yep, pop that adrenaline. You got that, buddy. I believe in you. Alright, this dude's about to disappear. Oh man, these games are so fast tonight. Like, every game has been a steamroll. And I don't know where that first shot went, but okay. The ice just gave up. My gosh. This dude's just yoloing it to the whole rig, because why not? Waffenthreger's well, well, already dead, because also why not? Oh my god. 
gosh, dude. These teams are so bad. Bro, how is their team... Every game is like 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Darn it. I can't... I mean, it's my press account. I shouldn't care. But inherently, I gravitate towards dealing a good average damage. I got like two, one, three shots off that whole game. I should have just YOLO'd down heavy side, man. I don't know how their heavies died so fast, though. <laughs> yes, thank heavens. Honestly, I do not like the tier 8 matchups. The tier 8 matchups have been such fast games. Every game is just YOLOing tier 8's dying. I think I might prefer the tier 10 games with this tank because at least I get to deal more damage. My gosh. That was such a bad game. I mean, obviously I kind of wasted some time up on the gun ports. All the same, I didn't think their team was just going to insta-die so fast though. So I'm going to push through the river. They have a team on LT and a leopard. An E50M. But I'll be supporting the Vickers. We have the support of the Fosh. All three TDs actually. So this shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A nice one, Vickers. Oh, wow, yeah. So their whole team just gets to snap that off, snap those shots off. Without even, like, properly aiming them. I know I know for certain they had, they did not have time to properly aim those shots in. And they're in a bunch of IS-4s and 7s. But it doesn't matter. Once I'm in this position, there's really nothing there you can do about it. Oh, gun! What are you doing? Oh, wh what are you doing? Oh, come on, gun. Okay. Seriously? You... Uh, why is my tank backing up the wrong way? Okay. E50M, I have no clue what you're doing, but please don't do that again. It hurts my brain. You just YOLO'd into the most open part of the map. And just died. Full HP. Mm, there's an ice for there. I knew it. I knew it. He's just sitting there staring at me. I, I, I guarantee it. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. Gosh, all these games have just been awful. It got even worse the moment I put same control mode on off again. Because <laughs> now, now they just have players that are just willing to do this instead of actually doing anything. Just sit there and stare for eternity. IS4, you've been sitting there for a minute. Do you plan on doing anything, or are you more interested in just staring at a tier 9 heavy tank for over a minute? You're from Leverage. I know that's a decent clan, but why are you wasting so much time? Oh, of course there's a Waffenträger in town. Oh my gosh. I quit. Okay. Ugh. I'm not having any, I'm not having any fun anymore with these teams, man. I don't know why... Uh, that was such a bad game. My gun was just so trash that battle, too. Good tank, but that's about three hours of gameplay. All right, I did promise you guys, though, that I would take the the event tank for a spin. Uh, just to show you what the tank's like. Let's see, calibrated? Yeah, probably for the heat. So I'm going to do that before we wrap it up for the night. I still can't believe the 50M just YOLO'd in like that. That was such a dumb play by him. And my gun somehow missed two shots on him. Alright, let's roll. Billy, what is the breakdown of the tank? Uh, if you go back to like earlier in the stream, I give a lot more detail on it. I don't really, not really up to trying to explain it all right now again. Alright, let's take the Scepter for a spin. Also, I'm I'm gonna focus the control mode back on. Go 1A3. <laughs> that camera is definitely a bit whack, that's for sure. Didn't have enough for a full 30k uh, scepter. Here's the thing with the scepter. Oh gosh, I hate these queue times. It's so annoying just sitting here. There's like so many players in queue. It's put me in the game already. I'm gonna throw the scepter out. I'm pretty sure it's identical to the M3 Yo, in which case there is like, if if you're getting this tank, you're getting it purely for the camo. That's it. If if my if my theory is correct. All right. It does look really good. I will admit. 
It looks really nice. I am like, actually, don't know why. It's like super hot in here. Maybe it's my computer. This is creating a little thermal, thermal section in the corner of my room. But I turned the fan to max, so hopefully that'll help. Okay. So, yeah, the tank feels decently fast. It looks really cool. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly think the red camo looks better than the white one. Oh, that, that, oh, yeah, the fan looks really nice at max. That's so much better. <laughs> I don't like the one at max, though, because I don't want to kill the motor, but, because it's really, like, I, I feel profusely warm right now. I'm going to turn it on. Let's see. Ooh, gun seems pretty accurate. Is the inner clip better than the than the tier eight yo? The, does anyone know the stat difference between this and the regular yo in tier eight? It feels pretty nice, actually. I just don't I just don't know if it's actually better or not. Wow, none of those blind shots went in. That's unfortunate. So I'm curious if you guys know what the difference is between these two tanks. Oh my gosh. Is that the super pushing? Hmm. No one's gonna spot him up. Okay. I am going to go through town then. It's not really worth wasting my team up here. Or actually, is that T20 just sending it? If he's just sending it, my Oh, why did I have to start reloading my magazine right now? He's just YOLOing through the middle of the map. Welcome to this map, aka World of Yolos. Alright. Let's see, let's put a clip into this dude. I had my auto aim turned off. How do I keep? How long has my auto aim been off? Hmm, that's weird. That would be an interesting challenge stream just to play without auto aim. I wonder how bad it would be for me, but I might be able to do it. Oh, excuse, excuse me. Here, just let me up. I can clip him out. Just give me an opportunity. Well. I will admit, the gun is hardcore trolling me. I don't think it's the tank's fault. I think it's just kind of a, a mixture of bad RNG. Let's see. Feels decently mobile. Is that their 1390? Yeah, it has to be the 1390. Pick up a quick kill on this dude. All right. I mean, the tank feels all right. For a, tier, for a tier 8 heavy, I guess. I mean, it, I don't know if it's actually... Um, I don't know if it's actually better, though, than the... Than the regular old... Okay, this dude probably will struggle to pen me. I'd rather kill the... the okay, never mind. Can't do it. Alright, we'll just kill this dude. I don't know... Yeah. I don't know if it's actually better than the tech tree variant or not. But it does feel decent. But I always liked the Tech Tree Yo. I thought it was a really good tank, the Tier 8 M3 Yo. So I would assume this tank would be good as well. Alright, we're gonna one clip this 1375 out. Okay, this gun though, this gun ain't it, Chief. It's it's like it's it's really not that accurate when it comes to hitting things. <laughs> Okay. The issue is I kind of have to keep pressure on this dude or else he could kill me. Not not really super worried about him getting around to my side. I don't think he's going to pen very easily here either. Engine deck. Yeah, the engine deck on this deck is OP. I just have to kill this dude now. Track him. I have a few seconds. Don't low roll. There we go. That tank feels okay. Feels okay. The gun's a little, eh, a little boring. But, I mean, if you just want... I, I don't know if this gets premium credit coefficient. Let's see how much did I make. 2700 damage dealt. 100,000 credits. So, maybe it does get it. Slightly improved credit making. It feels alright. It feels alright. I guess. I'll, I'll play one more game in it. Guys, if you could return any tank to its former pre-nerf state, which would you choose? Sheridan Missile. Of course. What else would I choose? 
I loved missiles. They were so fun. I, I could probably just do like a 10 hour missile stream and be perfectly happy. <laughs> At least back in my day when I was peak missile spammer. Those were those were good days. This tank's nice though. It's nice. What an ugly tank. I, I I gotta be honest, I out of all of the tanks Wargaming could have chosen to give like a cool camouflage, I'm not sure why they chose the M3 Yo, because this tank is not a good looking vehicle. I mean, its hull looks okay, but it's, it's, it's just very bulbous and round. I will admit though, the camel does make it somewhat bearable. Um, but there were so many other vehicles I feel like they could have chosen that would have just been more interesting. Oh, that's an Annihilator. All right, two shot. Those Annihilators are nasty, but oh, we just got one clip. There we go. The magazine when you're in a nice hold down situation actually feels much better. All right. Like, I, I think, yeah, the gun's much, much better at more medium to close range distances. Let's get ready to put some more shots into this dude. Oh, but those 20 second magazine reloads are long as can be. All right, so that's going to be the Japanese tank destroyer. We also got a tiger here. What? That was weird. All right, another shot to this dude. So apparently, he had sniped me on the move. That's very lucky. I don't think he was aiming for that. <laughs> Even if he was aiming for that, that'd be a very lucky shot. All right. Let's pick up and kill this dude. And let's pull up and use our gun depression on this dude. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna try and get this tank personally. Um, it's just I don't know what is it. Three almost 300 million credits in value, so probably not worth it for me. Enemy is hit. I could just like I feel like I could just pull up the meme where it's like, "Mommy, I want this. I want the scepter." And then she points at M3O and she's like, "We already have a scepter at home, honey." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see that to be honest because I feel like they're bro. This tank's armor profile is useless That I, I don't even think that TD has very good penetration at all and he has better armor than me I believe let's put a heat shell on them and better accuracy Yeah, oh this gun is not cutting it for me chief. Okay that one went in There we go The gun is a little eh. Yeah it's, it's a fine tank. And it's definitely interesting looking. But I think most players would be getting this tank because of its appearance and not because of how it plays. I mean, I'm not doing like awful damage in it. But the fact of the matter is, we have this tank, which statistically, I think is probably very similar. 20 second reload. So, oh, 2.7 inch clip. What is this tank's inch clip? 2.7, 20.8. I think they're identical. Yeah. Really no point. Okay, okay. But we got we can't leave the, the we can't leave the object on that last game. We gotta have uh some chill game. It's not not I've seal clubbed in tier eight for a little we'll, we'll we'll jump back into the object 752. I just I, I just was uh trying out a few games in the uh scepter, as you guys requested earlier. To be honest, you can get the Walmart scepter by buying the new camo and slapping it on the regular yo. Similar to the blue scepter. <laughs> Some legendary cameras are heads scratching, right? Q time, put me to a game. Do it to make it happen. Scepter has the track ability, that's the only difference. The reverse track ability? Redemption performance, please. Yeah, that was some disaster. <laughs> if I ever get a game, <laughs> I don't know why I'm waiting for over a minute when there's like, between tier eight, 10 and nine, there's like 90, 90 to 100 players in queue. Okay, I called it right, it's a septic tank. <laughs> All right, 
Let's have a few good games in this tank before ending off the night because I don't want people getting the wrong impression if you weren't watching at the start of the stream the tank was really good. Just had a little bit of a bad run. There's a certain time on Blitz where certain individual players start getting on and like the general team performance just gets yikes. I pref personally, I prefer to play in the mornings if I'm going to try and play for performance. I don't usually play at nighttime unless it's like really late at night. Usually that's when teams are a little less yellow-esque, I would say. So we're going to go to the mid here. T1 LT is already on A. That's interesting. There's the Conqueror. Okay. I don't think I'm spotted yet, so we'll wait till he's in the open. Then we'll slap a shell right into his side of his tank there. Good stuff. There's the Waffenträger. We'll just plop, slap a shell into his tank as well. There we go. Good start to the game. This is a good map for this tank for sure. I do have a lot of support. Our grill is kind of by himself over there, to be honest. Um... You know, I might take one from the Waffenträger. There's a good chance he won't. Oh, man. He actually managed to spot me up there. Boo-hoo. Okay. Another shell into this dude. Very good. All right. I just wanted the house to rush this corner and just clear this out. Because it looks like the enemy team is pretty split up here. Waffenträger getting absolutely hammered there. But, yeah, those AMXs on the flank are going to be a potential issue we'll have to deal with. Ooh, that Yag will definitely be an issue we'll have to deal with. Very good, team. Very good. All right. Let's see. We don't know where the WZ is. That's the only threat at the moment. However, I feel like I should try and clip the T100LT out right now. So let's put one shell into the T100LT. Nice little max roll. Those are always juicy. There's a 57. Oh! Hey, Joe. Thanks for the question. Do you think that the camos that made make a tank harder to get. Do you think there are any camos that make the tank harder to get? Um, what do you mean by that? I'm, I'm not quite sure what you, what you mean by that. Nice kill shot into this dude. Oh, that was a nice snapshot. Just wasn't quite able to pick up the kill there. They do have double caps. I'm hoping our team pushes their Yag quickly so I can start pressuring him as well. All right. Nope, that's a 57. I'm not pushing it through any kind of crossfires with him. Although, I should have just enough gun depression to work against him. So, one shell to his side. Then I can turn and push onto the Yag side. Boom. Very nice. General LT is kind of out of the fight. He's a one shot. I'm going to start pressuring the 57 from behind. Hopefully, our Yag and E100 can start making some progress over here. Come on, I believe in you. Nice, because I want to get a full clip of HE into this 57. 555. Oh, please let me max roll for 600. Oh, nope, that's not a max roll, but that's still solid. 473 or whatever. Nice one, Yag. And that just leaves their WZ. But hopefully, the Waffenträger can get the T100LT on the flank. This was a much better game. It wasn't rushed, so we actually had time to play out an actual battle, which was nice. Very mighty to him. Very good. I'm going to hop into B just as a precaution at this point. I don't want us to lose the cap. Oh, wait. We should be fine. I was worried that Z wanted LT would run away, but it looks like that's not the case. So we should be good then. That was a much more chill game. That's what we like to see. Sometimes I guess you just need to take a little break. Uh, faster, faster. Javier. You don't have the gun depression, you'll hit those. No! Alright, we got 5k damage out. That's so bad. Oh, hi, Bobby. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Bobby's back. Tell a friend. Alright, cool. That should make up for the last game that we know is very pepega, but if we go by average, it's still solid. No to worry, it does craze. Yeah, you can because the S Conqueror is a tech tree vehicle on PC. And the 215B is like a removed collector type tank. Definitely not going for a septic tank. Plus, I don't play Tyria anyhow. Exactly a Russian disaster. <laughs> but there are definitely collectors out there that, you know, just want the tank for collection purposes. We'll put we'll put the Bobby Cam back. Okay. We can deal with their heavy tanks in town. Actually, we can't deal with their heavy tanks. I mean, I could deal with their heavy tanks in town, but do I have support of the Samoa? You're going C. Alright, so we're not going town. We'll, we'll just bomb their meds instead. Let's make it happen. 
I was like with the five, 752, yeah. I mean, from what I have seen, a lot of players have received this tank from credits. Uh, I mean, not from credits, sorry, from gold crates. So I wouldn't say it's, you know, it's technically impossible. I think one of my clan mates, he just bought like four crates with gold and got the tank. I'm like, bruh. SC-130 is being a very interesting player indeed. All right, Leopard is being really aggressive. Wow, he actually hits my hatch. Get out of here. Oh, but I snapshot the Chimera. Let's go. Dude, this viewport, it gets hit so often. This is like the second time someone's hit my viewport perfectly on this little like bar. It's very interesting. It's kind of a big weak spot. Well, it's a small weak spot, but it's like an easy pen for anything, I think. That's the difference. Gotta make it happen. I believe in you. You wanna peek? Nope. Don't make it happen. Wow, the SC-130 is being mad aggressive here, isn't he? There we go. That's all I cared about. Because this leopard's about to die. Hello, Mr. Leopard. I am here to retake the corner. Oh, bot mode. Totally thought I had him there. Yikes. And the Chimera is all by himself. Bless him. Prepare to get brain done by a full speed. Object. Boom, track shot. Nice. Keeping him in place. Their K91 and Shark coming pretty aggressive down low. Ooh, they still have a Borsig there. Good to know. We'll have to watch out for him. I think we could just jump onto the K91 from here. I mean, I'm not super worried about the types positioning. And we should have gun depression over this dude. And so we should just be able to look down on him. I think the Skoda is thinking the exact same thing. So one shell into him. Boom. Skoda should be able to put another shell into him. Boom. Another one for me. Skoda's got the kill. Very good. Very good. The type's being pretty aggressive. Oh, wait. I only have two shots in this tank anyways. Why am I pulling forward? Goodness, I must be tired. <laughs> for some reason, I thought I was playing a tank with three-shot auto letter. All right, we're going to risk it for the base gate. Oh, nice. The Borsig didn't hit me. I'm going to go for the type then. What is that low roll clip? How much did I roll? Were those both in the 300s? I have 430 alpha damage. And those are some mega low rolls there. I don't know about this one, Chief. That was a bit weird. <laughs> All right. Not a bad game, I suppose. I'm glad I went med side. Was able to clear out the side pretty quickly. Looks like the Samoa is getting ready to to jump onto the Borsig. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to double HE clip them, so I hope that I, I low-key hope the Borsig nails the Samoa. He's not doing it. He's probably just going to yellow in and get himself killed as well. You took two shots. I am disappointed in you, Borsig. Took three shots. All right. Boom. Nice. Well, at least we picked up the kill. So not too bad. Not too bad. Ugh. Oh, we got 4k damage that game. I didn't think it was 4k, but there you go. So we're back to performing solidly in the tank. I bought the big crate package for gold, got it and some gold and free XP. So complaint, no complaints here. That's nothing for a great tank. Unlike 99 deals for a Skoda 56 for tier 8 mediocrity. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Skoda, like we're gonna be putting the Skoda in the store for a hundred dollars. I was like, mm, not so certain about that when we're gaming. I mean, at least he gave us a solid non-crate gambling price on the tank, but still. Which one do you prefer, object or 50 TP prototype? Um, object because it's a little bit more unique, for sure. Yeah, I would say I would say the object is a little bit more fun, so I would personally take that. But but the 50 TP prototype is pretty good. All right, let's see who, who are we gonna who are we gonna bop on the crossing here? All right, see if we can take his tracks off. Not quite, but at least I'll put a shell into him. Gotta watch out for a 183 that could be on those bushes, so I'm gonna spot it up a little bit here. Oh, the 60 TP went really wide. I'm a bit surprised. 
Oh, there's a K91 as well. It's aiming on it. Bro, how ridiculously lucky do you have to be to hit that? Going full speed across the map, shooting on the move, and just... Wh where did he even pen? Oh, the armor on this tank sometimes is a bit... Especially where the turret can be a bit meh. <laughs> People just pen the turret, and I still have no clue where they even hit. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, E4. Oh, nice gun. Nice gun. Dude, that K91 is quite literally the luckiest player. What? Oh my gosh. He hit that second shot going full speed. He's just shooting heat at everything, though. Yeah, get, get destroyed by an I-7, please, and thank you. I can't pull four because there's 60 TP. That's the issue. I can't pull back because the 183. That's an even bigger issue, as the E4 is about to potentially find out. Oh, man. Bro, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, shoot heat into my tracks, dude. Shoot, just keep shooting heat into my tracks here. This dude is so annoying. I know he's not a great player, judging by how he's been playing, but he still doesn't stop him from being mad annoying here. Also, is any E4, are you going to do something about the 183? Or are you just going to gonna sit there? I'll... I... I'm trying to figure out what RT100 LT and 140 are doing on the flank. There's no one there. <laughs> These K91s are spamming heat, bruh. Why did our IS-7 leave the corner? He could have just kept their K91 down. I am so confused. Hey! Got brain off if I can pee. That's not fishy. My goodness. I should have pushed into the mid. Definitely should have pushed to the mill. I just thought since we had an IS-7 up there, he would keep the K91 from sitting broad in the open to shoot me. But he just like turned away and ran off into the mid. I think my team still have a chance of winning this. Oh, watch this dude just get Amaract. Wait, why aren't you killing the K91? Oh, IS-7. Bro, this K91 is just shooting 100% heat at everything. I don't think I've seen him shoot a single standard ammunition type this whole game. There you go, IS-7. Took you a while. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, he literally just sat at the top of the mill, broadsiding in the open, and our IS-7 just let him do that for some reason. He shouldn't have been able to just sit there in the open. I mean, if our IS-7 was holding the corner, which he was for most of that game, he should have just been able to farm the K91 out there. Hey, at least we won, though. At least we won. Easy. I I, I am kind of curious about the... I, I feel like this, this uh, K91 is going to not have the greatest stats. Let's see. He farmed the most for his team, but... Fifth, wait, how do you have 60,000 games with 52% win rate but still shoot 100% heat at tanks with your K91? Isn't that... I, I honestly expected him to have like a 42% win rate with less than 500 battles. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised he had that many games. Hey, pups. Oh, you shall kill it. Yo, fans, was 140 stream thinking of getting it? I think I made a Soviet medium tank comparison stream that, that covers the 140. 140's cool, but honestly, I don't see a point in getting it now that the 200 LT's been released. 200 LT's just a better 140 in almost every way, except for maybe a little bit of armor. Alright. I'm not fast enough to cross the river. Why 60 TP? Am I gonna get any support on the mill? None. Our 60 TP spawn sniping. <laughs> Fishy, I don't care. I mean, no, I mean, he had a good game because. I'm just. Uh... What am I watching? Okay. This is a sign that the teams are getting extremely Pepega right now. 
Like, I knew the teams were acting really kind of meh, at, like, for the last hour. But I don't think I have seen this kind of stupidity from Heavy Tinks. Are they in a platoon? Yeah. Um. Huh. So. That happens. Interesting. I'm gonna go help our batch out on the flank. I think this is a sign that uh, I'll get ready to wrap up for the night, at least playing the object. I don't really want to deal with teams like this anymore. Two tier 10 heavy tanks and two tier 10 TDs just sitting on the spot hill on Castilla with no one to spot for them. It's like, what are you going to shoot at? You're going to get outspotted by the enemy team. Like, there's nothing you can do there, you know? Oh, so my allies are letting the E100 just push in by himself, but... Oh, yeah, Yag's going to be a bit of a distraction. That's good. Yag, Yag, are you blind? Yeah, you're supposed to be like a master of sniping. What is this? Oh! Faded. Oh! Are you gonna pull forward or not? Yag! Okay, there we go. The Yag's here. Okay, help out a little bit. There we go! <laughs> I was wondering if the Yag was ever gonna turn. This game is so whack. They want to just push straight into our spawn at the start of the game from the medium side. All right, let's take off his tracks here. Boom, 480. And we got a nice little high roll here as well. Nice. These teams are big yikers moments, my dudes. That's all I can say. Very big brain yikers moments. Oh, nice 154. We hit those. Uh, you know, I'm impressed their i7 and 60TP actually pushed the mill together, and look at it. They're actually doing an okay job as heavy tanks. It's kind of crazy. It's almost like the tanks have enough armor to, to uh, you know, play aggressively and stuff. It's almost like the tanks were designed for that kind of gameplay, you know? You feel me, boys? You feel me? <laughs> Here's the Yag. Oh, I gotta go back for the Yag. If I would be able to just jump into the water, <laughs> I wouldn't blame you either. Oh, hi, 54. Oh, that shot was hot. That shot was mad hot. Not going to lie about that. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do when I come for you? Really? You full pen that? Yep, you fell down. Get baited. Get baited. Ah, uh, I don't know how you messed that up so bad. You could have won that on DPM, my dude. Easily. Could have won that on DPM. Oh, girl. I need to kill this Yag first. And then one AP into his hatch. 415? No! Okay, I'm still safe for now. I can win a 1v1 against this dude very easily. Oh man, these teammates are. They really are something else, huh? <laughs> Sherpa! <laughs> <laughs> Forced. <laughs> oh, Russian disaster. Thanks to the donation. Help me cope with the teams. <laughs> I don't have time with the cap. Darn it. I'll just have to push. I'll just have to help the 60 TP messes up his shot. So that's 268. Where's the 60 TP AP? Nah, they're gonna win this on cap. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, 60 TP went all the way back for C? That's interesting. I just gotta climb the hill. I'm gonna take the same route my heavy tanks did. Why not? We'll end it in style, boys. 
on the spawn hill where it all ended, where it all started, and where it all ended. I don't even care if I die at this point. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna bet, statistically, there's a chance that our heavy takes weren't that bad. I aced it in a loss. Let's go. Um, I'm, I'm just checking because I'm curious if they're 50%ers. Yep, 50% winner 8. 47, so almost 50, and then 52%. Oh, it's Stock Bob! Oh, Stock Bob was on my team this time, and he did one shot of damage. So why does he have to be a gamer when he's against me? But then when he's on my team, my man's out here with 300 damage. Oh, oh boy. I mean, I wasn't super confident in my team when our two tier 10 heavy tanks were spawn sniping. There's... That is a huge red flag on the abilities of your teammates. <laughs> um, I tried my best. I'll be happy with what I had. Dex. bro. <laughs> okay, I come back only to see a whole herd of tanks call over the hill tonight. What the actual is going on? Have <laughs> the teams uh, deteriorated this badly? Um, Low-key event teams can be some of the worst that you have to deal with. I, if I remember correctly... I suppose this is technically an event where you have to play to, to earn currency and stuff like that. So I wouldn't be super surprised if the teams are going to be a little extra spicy for the next week or so. We'll see. We'll see. That was, that was, yeah, I think that's the first time I've seen like four tier 10 tanks, including two heavies. Just full send it up there though. Oh, get brained on by my accuracy, dude. All right. Let's see. Lower plate. Boom. What? Oh, it's the badger. Ish the badger. I will. Ease with ease. Um, objects getting wrecked. GI series as well. Honestly, might just full set across with the 113. We should have time to push out the badger as well. Nice, 340. All right, I gotta pull back from here though. Ew, no, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the badger just got bopped. The badger got bopped. Okay. Sympathy donation. Sympathy donation for Bonkers teams. J6, thank you very much for the donation. Do appreciate the support. Oh, that was a nice shot. I do appreciate it, J6. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I gotta reset cap here, just, just as a precaution. Boom. Oh, hitting those shots today. Wait, what are you doing, Standard B? I don't appreciate this behavior. Get away. Ooh, ooh. Oh, bad shot. That's not a very big brain play. Oh, oh dear, Mr. Bad shot. Oh dear. Oh, do you give up? Nice. Okay. Well send, boys. Well, at least we won it this time, right? Oh man, getting uh, getting the whole spectrum of teammates today. From oh, I'm sorry, Waffen Frager. Ah, Waffen Frager. I just had to accidentally cut you off there. This Waffen Frager probably hates me, and I wouldn't blame him. I, I actually apologize. I didn't mean to bump you into that to that wall there. <laughs> oh my gosh, three thousand four hundred. Not bad. Are you five? Did wow? Are you five fold four K? Look at that epic gamer moments. Oh man, the gun feels kind of accurate too. Yeah, no, the gun on the Object Eighty Four feels pretty, pretty, pretty hot. It does feel pretty hot. Pow pow and fatness. Yes. I was the tier one LT on Port Bay game a while back. That wasn't that was mega sad. I got fired the moment they pushed through the river. Uh Valerie, I remember that game. I was trying to encourage my teammates to come join me on the C cap, and you were you were doing a good job holding off three tanks in the corner there. And then I think the 54E1 pushed on you. 
That was a very sad game. You did a good job in the corner. Hey, 400 likes. Let's go, guys. Poor Waffenträger. <laughs> Apologize to the Waffenträger now. I've already done so. A sincere, heartfelt apology. Time to make an apology video. <laughs> New viewer who dis, lol. Uh, hi, this is Royal Finest. I, I stream Blitz. I'm not usually completely awful at the game, although there are exceptions. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Gasman, hey, what's up? Oh my, is no one playing tier 10? Okay, we're tier nine. No Narnia team. Homie, thank you, I try. All right. Uh, Vika's only tier and a Piranha versus me and a Chieftain. Five. We'll probably go dunes. I, I'm, if I, if I, if they're not gonna go dunes, I'm actually think we could take a town fight here. If the if both heavies come with. All right, let's go. Alrighty. It's one last Poggers game and it's in the object to end it off. Very good tank though, for the most part. Unless you put yourself in kind of a weird position, which I've done a couple of times. You know how it is. Oof. Nice one, Piranha. All right, all right, Chieftain, you gotta, you gotta help a homie out here. Oh, angling the hole up there. <laughs> YouTube steals half of your donation. Oh, not half of it. They do take some percentage, but if uh, if you're tipping, world to the wise, word to the wise. Thank you for tipping, by the way. Um, yeah, I, d I mean, if you use the tip, the tip function, or the PayPal, which I have under this stream description, I do get, I do get the full, the full profit from that. But um. TI5, if you had like 20 years to aim that shot in, I'm really surprised. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna reload. My iPad is feeling a little difficult. Ugh, need to clean the screen off again. Oh, what happened to our 4005? It might be worth the risk here to kill him. Yeah. I figured at that point it's better to pick up a kill on the Fosh and to just let him live there. Full send it, Fattis. <laughs> Full send it? Yes. All right. The VK just fired. So I'm going to take this opportunity to push across. And we're going to kill the Yo. Oh, you know what? Oh, nice. We didn't, we didn't like super low roll him. Very good. All right, Vika's gonna go for the TI-5, I assume. Gotta get away from the grill. No, the grill just happened to hit a shell to me. Nice try with the HE, dude. I totally saw you going for that. I didn't let you have it either. <laughs> All right. Oh, the game's pretty close. Wait, E5, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, and the M60 just left the shot. Uh, why are you shooting heat at a grill? I am sincerely interested, Mr. E5. I didn't think the grill's just gonna full send because I thought the M60 was gonna be with me here. And then the M60 just went around the other side, which got kind of unfortunate. All right, well. Uh, okay, okay, we're gonna just don't spend it. <laughs> Yo, what up, dog? Alrighty, that was a pretty good run. I was a little tired. There was a lot of games to play into your night, uh, especially for a heavy tank. What do I want to end today's stream? I have oh so many tanks I could choose from. What would be fun? I mean, hmm. Hey, you guys won. Good job. I probably did top of the team. Yeah. Goofy here. Let's see. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, heck. I guess we could do a little gravity since you guys have been asking. I, I personally uh, can't play too much gravity, but we'll give it a shot. 
Hey, what's up, Hated? <laughs> A wild hated has appeared. All right, let's go, Bops. Why do I have zero heat in my Yag? Uh, you know what? It's gravity. I don't need heat. It doesn't matter. All right. I I need to I need to bomb someone with my Yag, and then we'll be happy. Uh, is their team even here? Hello. 23 maybe? I will find you. I will shoot you. Um Alright, we're just gonna full send it right now. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Oh that's a bit unfortunate. Uh oh, TI5, don't hit those. Ah! Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. That's a bit unfortunate. Good spotting run though. Eh. Hey, what? Boo! This guy yoinked. Ow. Okay, I need to jump from a little bit further back apparently where I won't get spotted. I'll just trust in my allies to spot up everything. Oh my gosh, the shirt and just glitched across the map. What was that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. Can't quite hit him. Wait, maybe. Oh, the i7 was up there. Uh, I just don't find gravity all that fun. Okay. It's only fun in like TDs where you're duking people or if you're like mega ramming people. The issue with the jump ability is you float for so long that everyone can hit you really easily. What they thought? What up? All right. Mm, There's another map where jumping isn't great because you just get yeeted to one of the quarters. I need, I need a, like a city map. That's where jumping is the best. I need to find the best location to do a jump. Perfect. Oh well. I mean, don't mind if I don't mind if I do, Mister E5. Oh, okay. Well, let's wait for them to stop moving. Oh, oh good. Bye. Oh, they're just full sending it over here. I like that. That's just, that's uh, interesting. Well, I guess, I guess I'll just sit here for now and, and just wait to see what happens. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, mouse. 1400 again? Oh, 183s, memes. I'm not, I don't even have to jump. I'm just sitting here. Although, if I'm a real gamer, I should jump for the memes. I think there's an E50M. I wonder. All right, three, two, one, boom. Let's jump up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Uh, hi. Uh, pretend you never saw me, okay? I'm just gonna go back around the corner. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was never here, okay? Have a nice day. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Someone wants to get bopped. Okay, I will have my revenge. No, someone shot me. Oh, almost. It was that darn T95 that's just sniping up top there. Okay, I'll have to pull down from him. I I can do this, Chief. Why why are you after me, yo? You do realize you're a one shot with Hesh, right? Oh, you're so lucky. Wee! <laughs> oh, Ti5. Oh no, I'm safe from the Ti5. <laughs> Hey, this yo wants me bad. Yo. That's probably not the best idea, my dude. All right, all right. All right. It's so hard to preem some of those shots when they're flying at the, like weird angles and everything. All right. I need my one in-flight meme shot. We're gonna go for the TI-5 and do it. It has to happen, no matter what. Wait, you're still shooting at me? IS-4. 
Are you incapable of killing? That uh, Yoda's not looking at you. Goodness, that dude really wanted me so bad. Alright. I still got a full send it for the TI-5. I just gotta give it a shot. Alright. Well, it was worth a shot. Wasn't quite a good shot, though. Oh! Oh my gosh, the i5 is coming in. He's coming in. Oh, he's coming in hot. Oh my gosh. Darn, he's fast. Look at him. Doing his little 180 no scope as well. Oh, you still had Sheridan, Jimmy. Boo. <laughs> All right. Do we find one not fast as a new bat? I mean, I never, and I mean never play gravity. The only time I ever like play gravity is when you guys ask me to on stream. So. I'm naturally not like the best at gravity mode. And I, I don't like the mode either. I never have. Like it can be a little fun, but I've never like found it that interesting. I'd rather play burning games than gravity mode. <laughs> Advanced good morning. Good morning. Did someone ask for the Sherry Missile in Gravity? I suppose, yeah. We'll end it. We'll end it in style. You're right. Do I have missiles? Yes. Alright. I like my Sheridan, so. We'll, we'll have some missile action then tonight. We're going to be doing it the good old fashioned way as well. Alright. Because like you could, yeah, you could play Gravity Sheridan. It's it's fun and everything, I suppose. But like, compare that to what you're gonna do with the Sheridan missile in Uprising. Completely different ballpark. The Sheridan is just so much fun in Uprising, and even in Burning Games too, because it gets buffed abilities. Oh, oh, get domed. Oh, I just domed that fool. Oh, of course the WZ hits that. Bro didn't even aim. Nice meme. <laughs> that shirt is not having a good day. Bro, the shirt is so fast. Oh my goodness. That missile almost messed up because my screen flipped up there. All right. Ah, I tried to get the swerve into him. It was worth a shot. Alright. Oh, that sure got yoded. Okay. See, see, that's the issue with up uh, with with gravity mode. What? Oh, the Sheridan. The issue with gravity mode, the reason I don't really play the Sheridan gravity mode is each time you reach a certain height, your screen flips up so you can't even adjust your missile mid-flight. Like, there, I, there's no way any of those missiles I could adjust mid-flight because your screen actually will flip up and you can't aim down to a certain extent. That's, that, that's, that's the main reason I don't really use um, Sheridan and gravity. Or you could just sit there the whole time, but that's not really fun. All right, I guess I guess we will be ending on the yeah because that wasn't a very good game. <laughs> Every tank are fast. What do you expect? <laughs> All right, finally, this is a good map for the yag. Hopefully, this will be fun. Although I'll admit the T forty nine is kind of memes in gravity. I played a little bit last night in the T forty nine. That was pretty fun. Dog torque, no spam. All right, so let's see if we can find the mouse and hit him with a nice 800 damage shot. He shot me the moment I fired, so my gun flipped up. No, that should have been an easy nuke on him. That's unfortunate. Not quite, okay. 
What would be the best approach to deal with this Mr. Mouse here? I don't have heat, I forgot. Very sad. Oh yes, there we go. Boop. Hey Mouse. <laughs> and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there were two Jagdpanzer 100s. And the mouse's day had just gotten a lot, lot worse. I like how we both like rolled 700 for all of our shots on him, though. All right, high roll. Hey, 50 is a bit of a high roll, I guess. Whee! I want to see if I can land on top of his tank, but he's probably going to die first. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Yes! Oh! I crushed him! Mission accomplished, I think. That was definitely mission accomplished. Just crushing a mouse and a Yag, dude. Okay, if I can get unstuck, though. All right, we'll have to just use our leap ability. Whee! All right, all right, that was fun. Oh look, I landed right on the top of the building. That was worth. That was fun. I will admit, crushing the mouse was this the, was the peak. All right. Oh, almost. I was trying to lead the shot a little bit because I thought he was gonna go bombing down the hill, but he didn't quite full commit. Oh. But what find more so do we have here? We hit those. Oh! <laughs> oh! Enjoy, Waffenträger. I hope you enjoyed your, your Jagdpanzer 100 high explosive treatment. Oh! I totally got botted by that dude. Wait, 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 let me... Yes, land on my tank! Oh, yes! Give me that ram damage, boy! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yep, you did. Here comes Wee! Alright. Yeah, this, this, this was a fun enough game to end it off on. Yeah, pretty chad sometimes. Alright, we, we gotta hit him with the HE midair. Okay, maybe not HE AP. Oh, goodbye. And the 263 is probably going to die in a second now. Nice. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Ugh. Right. I don't think I'll be able to stream Sunday. So, oh, well, almost 5,000 damage. So I might just end up streaming either tomorrow or maybe on Monday if I have time. Don't think I have class on Monday that I that will get in the way of streaming in the evening. So we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Thank you to everyone who showed up. All of the epic donations, the mods, and everyone. Do appreciate the support. Hope you guys have a great start to your weekends and all of that good stuff. If you do get the Object 752, then enjoy. It is quite a nice tank for sure. And uh, as for me and Bobby, okay, well, we, gotta, we gotta have some end stream Bobby time. Hey, Bobby. Bobby's like, no, stop it. I'm trying to sleep. Uh, as for me and Bobby, I'm about ready to uh, call quits for the night. Got some studying to do before I go to bed, so gonna be doing that. Hey, Bobby. <coughs> it's just playing, don't worry. Uh, uh, yeah, so take care, everyone. Have a great night. I will see you maybe, maybe tomorrow or Monday. I don't think I'll be available on Sunday. Just letting you know now. So uh, have a great night. Have a great start to your weekend. Peace.